What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 3 SS. Chapter 51 A Monster Comparable to Rocks. Wake up after sleeping for 3 days and 3 nights. Advertise here. However, the news is still under blockade. Doflamingo learned through the relationship of the undercover ghost Bamboo that another force in the intelligence network who is also not weak also got the news about the arrest of Fire Fist Ace. 10,000 Seas, Toto Land Kingdom. Big Mom strode towards the main hall in his own castle, and the ministers behind him reported the news they got. Well, so, it was the traitor who defeated the Fire Fist and captured it and gave it to Marine. Big Mom laughed out loud when he heard that. It was exciting to see Whitebeard lose and Lodia's captain get caught. With the character of the old man Whitebeard, I'm afraid the traitor will have a hard time. He dared to give it to Marine. This is going to start a big war. Big Mom's excitement is not without reason. It's one thing to watch Whitebeard suffer, but it's a real benefit to go to war. With Whitebeard's personality, would he just watch his captain being captured by Marine and remain indifferent? Impossible. Mom, is it really going to start a war? Many of the sons and daughters behind were stunned, and many of them still didn't believe that something big would happen. Of course, that fellow Whitebeard may have summoned his troops now, you should pay more attention to his actions. Once we start a war with Marine, it will definitely be no small matter. How much territory we can grab from Whitebeard depends on our preparations. Quote. Big Mom laughed exaggeratedly, very excited, never expecting such a good thing to happen. Immediately, he just sat down on his throne. Perospero, Daifuku and others all stepped forward and continued to report the information they got. Mom, there is one more person in this matter that needs attention. Oh, the Marine Vice Admiral that I said to focus on last time, Hall. Katakori said his name solemnly. Speaking of this name, the smile on Big Mom's face was slightly restrained, Shaw N is very impressive. Fire Fist Ace was coerced by Blackbeard and wanted to make a deal with Marine, and it was Shaw N who made the deal alone. He's going to talk to Blackbeard by himself. Blackbeard teach is not easy, according to what Big Mom knows, this bearded traitor is the master of pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger. If you go alone, how can you be troubled? Yes, and according to intelligence, the Whitebeard Pirates and the Red Hair Pirates have all appeared. Among them are Beckman, Rakiru, and Marco, Vista, Josie. The five of them clashed with Blackbeard with their troops, Shaw N appeared and successfully took away the Fire Fist. Katakori informed the information that was not very detailed, and explained that the information was true. Beckman failed to stop him. What's going on? Didn't you investigate clearly? When Big Mom heard this, he suddenly became a little uneasy. It's like every four emperor's regiment has a really strong guy. Marco, Katakori, Beckman, Jin, this is a topic that the world often uses to compare the strength of the four emperors. Even the four emperors themselves have never underestimated them, and Big Mom knows that, Beck's wife's strength is not ordinary. The specific news is still unknown, but some details will be known soon. Katakori nodded solemnly, and then explained. After all, it has not been long since the incident, Blackbeard, the person involved, disappeared, Shaw N was sound asleep, Beckman, Marco and others were even more impossible to say. Therefore, the information delivered outside is not so detailed. But even so, Big Mom is very dignified. For a while, sitting there with his head bowed in thought, it seemed that the atmosphere of the entire hall had been suppressed. After a while, Big Mom said slowly, it's really surprising, I didn't expect such a thing to happen, Shaw N. He's still very young, right? Yes, less than 20. Perospero holds detailed information about Shaw N, and he knows how old she is. It's really strong. The last talent who can show such a strong talent, there is only one rocks, and even Roger can't get in and leave safely under the entwined masters of conquerors at this age. Big Mom can guess that it is impossible for people like Beckman and Marco to listen to Marine, and it is even more impossible for Shaw N, Marine Vice Admiral, to take away Fire Fist. There must have been a violent conflict between the two. Even so, it is enough to show that this child is not simple. However, the Big Mom pirates guessed in the right direction. It is true that Shaw N had a fight with them, and now he is still asleep because of the excessive consumption of energy from using Kaiwankwan. As a result, I fell asleep, and I don't know whether it was Shaw N's substantial improvement that nourished the body, or it was all due to mental problems. When he opened his eyes and woke up, it was already three days and three nights later. Feeling a bit hungry, but full of energy, after taking a shower, Shaw N felt very comfortable. There is endless energy all over the body. Sure enough, my physique has improved, and I feel very good about myself. Dressed up and put on her justice coat, Shaw N is going to go out to eat something. As a result, as soon as I went out, I found soldiers standing guard at the door. Shaw N Vice Admiral, also a very young sailor, adoringly looked at Shaw N and saluted. Now, Shaw N is the idol of all marine youths. Hello. Shaw N responded with a smile, and then asked, why are you here? It's an order from above. You have been sleeping for three days and three nights. Marshal Sengoku and the three admirals have come to visit you many times. The sailors reported truthfully, only then did Shaw N realize that she had slept for so long. By the way, 
Lord Sha N, Marshal Sengoku said, you should report first after you wake up. Okay, let's go. Sha N nodded, without saying anything, turned around and ran to the cafeteria. As a result, I just didn't eat a few bites. The sailor on guard came hurriedly. Report, Mr. Sha N, Shu I asked you to go to the meeting. In such a hurry, Sha N glanced at the food, and after three times, two and two were done, she wiped her mouth and got up and walked towards the meeting room in the fortress. Along the way, Sha N has become accustomed to the adoring and enthusiastic eyes of the marine officers and soldiers. When someone says hello, she responds with a smile. But when he walked into the conference room, he found out. There were really many people present. Sha N Rear Admiral. You are here, Rear Admiral. Vice Admiral came quite complete, and all of them had the same eyes as Marine when they came, admiring and enthusiastic, and there was warm applause. Sha En didn't react for a while, and Marshal Sengoku was in the middle, appreciating with smiles all over his eyes, and said, Take your seat quickly. Why? Sha En Vice Admiral, thank you. You finally woke up. Apparently, everyone at this time has heard that Sha En alone fought a battle from the blocking of the Four Emperor's Regiment and brought the prisoner back. When they heard it for the first time, everyone was astonished. After all, they are the vice captain, captain, and cadre of the four emperor's regiment. Under the name of He Heiwei, he has unfathomable strength. However, Sha En fought a battle of ability and brought people back. His strength made all the vice admirals admire. So as soon as he entered the door, he greeted Sha En directly with fiery eyes and smiling faces, and even the three admirals smiled. There have always been excellent newcomers emerging from the star-studded pirates. On the contrary, Marine is far behind in this point, and after Kazaru Akainu, faults appeared. Now, there is finally a genius who can resist the position of admiral and be able to abbot marine in the future. In this world, strength will always be respected. Worshipping the strong is an eternal truth. Facing the enthusiasm of the crowd, Sha En calmly nodded with a smile and sat down. This time the mission was completed well. Although there were some accidents in the middle, Sha En fought against the pirates who came to stop her. She made me a marine and made a great contribution. Sengoku was very happy and praised. Yeah, I didn't expect that even the red-haired right arm and right arm could bring back the fire fist. I really admire it. The tea dolphin pressed the table and said excitedly. It's not just Beckman, Marco, Bista, Jazzy of the Whitebeard Pirates, the three famous captains, Beckman, Lakiru and the rest of the team didn't stop them. As expected of our youngest and strongest Vice Admiral. Shaw N Vice Admiral, why don't you tell us what happened at that time? Seeing that Shaw N sat down, the topic of the meeting had not yet started, but as soon as the words were spoken, the Vice Admirals who were present immediately started talking excitedly. This can be regarded as the biggest battle of Marine in recent years. After all, even Admiral doesn't have much time to play. At the same time, it has also been reflected that Sha En's strength has reached the Admiral level. Vice Admirals think so. After all, without Admiral's strength, why should they fight against the five powerhouses? Okay, now that we're all here, let's start our meeting today. Zero. Seeking flowers. At this time, Granny He made a sound and pressed everyone's energy. As a very prestigious existence, everyone did not dare to be presumptuous. They understood what the focus of today was, and they all calmed down and sat upright in the face of danger. Sha En was attacked by pirates. The matter will not pass easily, and we will definitely settle with them in the future, but the current situation does not allow us to be careless, because Ace, the captain of the Whitebeard pirate team's second squad, is in our hands. Quote. Sengoku's expression also became serious. As soon as these words came out, many young generals present swallowed their throats, and their moods fluctuated. The Whitebeard pirates were notoriously protective of their shortcomings, so that everyone listened seriously to Sengoku's arrangement. But Sengoku didn't say it himself, but gestured to Brandon. A rear admiral with green hair. Although Sha En didn't have any social relations with him, when he saw this Branu on the stage, he recognized at a glance that he was the famous, meeting king in the world of pirates. Sure enough, important meetings are all told by the meeting king. Faintly, Sha En already felt that this meeting was very difficult. Gathering so many soldiers probably has something to do with Ace and the war with the four emperors. Also, Garp wasn't there. As expected, Sha En was thinking in her heart. The meeting king, Brandon, came up, took out a document without saying a word, and faced Jay very solemnly. Everyone, after the upper echelons of Mariajoy, the five elders have made a decision, the execution of Fire Fist Ace will be publicly executed on another day. The whole process will be broadcast live. Zero. Sengoku. Granny Crane, and Admiral seemed to have known about this decision for a long time, and they were not surprised or surprised. But the following Vice Admirals, Rear Admirals and everyone were in an uproar. Shocked, surprised, and excited, everyone was very surprised that the upper management would make this decision. Public execution and execution are completely different things. Sentence is in prison, for the public. It is equivalent to a secret execution, and no outsiders will know it at all. Public executions are different, with the attention of the whole world, Vice Admiral's Fire Fist Ace execution is tantamount to publicly declaring war on the strongest man in the world, Whitebeard, one of the four emperors. 
The matter was so big that the entire Marine felt a little unbelievable. Marshal Sengoku, is this already confirmed? The public execution of Fire Fist Ace is about to start a battle with the Whitebeard Pirates. It should have been like this long ago, publicly execute Fire Fist Ace, let the whole world see the strength of our Marine. Some were excited while others were worried. The activists and the stability maintainers spoke one after another, and the meeting room was noisy. Sure enough, it's an announcement of a public execution. It's about preparing for a big battle, the top is about to start. Sha En was not as surprised as others, and sat calmly on her seat with her usual expression. Naturally, there will be no surprises for things that have been known for a long time. Everyone, it's time to fight the Whitebeard Pirates. At this time, Marshal Sengoku stood up himself, scanned the audience with majestic eyes, and said firmly. The voices of the whole audience were quieted down, and looking at the marshal who led the whole marine, a fighting spirit began to be faintly ignited. Public execution is of great significance. Let the whole world take a good look at the majesty of our marine. Let those evil people who abandon their wives and children, burn, kill and loot in the name of pirate dreams be terrified. Let people all over the world know that we are still the greatest force for justice. The day of execution will be seven days later. During these seven days, troops from all over the world will be assembled. Public execution. Whoever comes, let him come and go. Sengoku's passionate voice mobilized the enthusiasm of the soldiers present, and after a wave of talk, everyone should be passionate. Yes, Marshal Sengoku, sound like a bell. Even if some soldiers are worried that the consequences of the war with the Whitebeard Pirates are unpredictable, they will also understand the meaning of public execution. In the age of great pirates, Marines' declining majesty needs to be raised again in the eyes of the whole world. Such an effect can even put an end to some people's plans to go to sea to become pirates, and curb the increase in the number of pirates. The name of majesty is especially important. Sha En was in such an environment, so she had no choice but to say yes. But in his heart, he complained. Sengoku was very good at speech. The next thing is the highlight, gathering people for seven days, it is somewhat time-sensitive. That's right, if it weren't for the fact that Marine has a warship that crosses the comm belt, it would not be so fast to deliver news to the assembly of personnel within seven days. At this time, Sengoku pressed his palms to signal everyone to be quiet, and began to assign tasks. Chapter 52 System Wrong direction of evolution, Tempest Kick evolves into open black lens bracket ye guy close black lens bracket. Advertise here. The purpose of the meeting is to assign tasks. The major branches must send elite marines, and within seven days, no, they must arrive at Marineford within five days to prepare. The rear admirals evacuated the residents of Marineford town as quickly as possible, took refuge in the Sabayati archipelago, and placed all resources for war needs. The most important thing is that in addition to the strength of our marine, we also need to issue a summons order to summon those big villains. On stage, Sengoku seemed to have discussed with Granny Crane and the three admirals a long time ago, and the previous orders were very smooth. While recording, Brandon prepared to make arrangements. Facing Whitebeard, the strongest man in the world, Sengoku will not be careless, and he dare not be careless. Even Mariajoy attaches great importance to it, so naturally he will not simply deal with it. It is also very difficult to mobilize those Shichibukai who never obey orders. I heard that the public execution is going to be executed, and everyone knows that Whitebeard will definitely come to save people, how many of them are willing to come. However, Sengoku and Granny Crane looked at each other, and it was still the safest way, send Vice Admiral to personally send the summoning order. Shichibukai who refused this summoning will be expelled. The matter is very big, and it is very solemn, no medical treatment is allowed. Sha En listened in the seat, and her heart was similar to what she understood. For example, Vice Admiral, the Flying Squirrel, was sent to Amazon Lily to summon Shichibukai Pirate Queen. The above orders, the marines who are sitting in danger all take orders. But when it came to Shichibukai's last doflamingo, Sengoku hesitated for a moment, and his eyes were on Sha En. In order to protect the genius, Sengoku actually doesn't want him to continue to take risks. Besides, Shichibukai's, 553, is not so easy to deal with, but now they have tasks, and other people are not suitable to negotiate with Shichibukai. Because many of the remaining people are not doflamingo's opponents, but will be played maliciously as puppets. So now besides Admiral, Sha En is the most suitable. Although he just woke up now, but after hesitating for a moment, Sengoku still decided to let Sha En go. Sha En, you are in charge of summoning Doflamingo. Yes, without any hesitation, Sha En accepted the task decisively. Because the moment he looked over, he already understood that there was a task. According to the nature of the system, it would definitely be updated as a system task simultaneously. Ding, accept Naval Headquarters instructions, and you can get a huge boost after completion. Close black lens bracket. No, the system task is here. Everyone prepares immediately, and the task level is highly confidential. Before the news of the public execution is announced, it is not allowed to disclose the slightest departure. After some arrangements, the meeting came to an end, and Sengoku ended with the last sentence. The soldiers present stood up to salute one after another, and then filed out of the meeting room. Sha En was also among them, but she was caught by Branius not long after she walked out. Vice Admiral, 
Marshal Sengoku sent you to the past. Do you still have something to ask me? Sha En just walked out of the meeting room, and was then taken to the martial arts arena in the back mountain. Most of the martial arts arena that was destroyed by Garp and Sha En due to sparring has been repaired and restored to its original state. But here today there is no Garp. The three Admiral, Marshal Sengoku, Grandma Crane Sha En think that the current Garp may have gone to Ace in the prison to recall the past. You don't blame me for sending you out again, do you? Sengoku saw Sha En coming, and immediately said with a smile. No, Mr. Sengoku, I'll ask for it if you don't tell me. Sha En said with a smile. It's still you kid who is enlightened, so I called you here to let you master more skills and make your strength go further. Sengoku had appreciative eyes, geniuses who are neither arrogant nor impetuous, and polite or rare. Open a small stove, Sha En's eyes lit up. Teaching yourself more skills can really improve your strength a lot. The last time you learned armament hockey, you realized a different momentum. Seeing that the big battle is coming, you are right to learn two more tricks. This is what worried Sengoku at first. Because Sha En's fighting method is actually very simple, even if it is powerful, it still has flaws for people at the level of four emperors. For example, under observation hockey, even the fastest finger pistol beam with the strength of the red hair may not be able to hit it. Time is precious, let's start, what I want to teach you today is observation hockey. Kazaru Pelusolino stood up with a smile, and then said to Sha En solemnly. Sha En took a deep breath and looked at Kazaru expectantly. The potential power possessed by all human beings. This power is an innate ability. It is different from deterrence and momentum. This is the power of sound. Because knowledge is invisible and colorless, the Kazaru organizer described it in detail with Sha En in words. The power to feel the opponent's voice strongly is called observation hockey. Once this power is increased, you can read the position and number of enemies out of sight, as well as the actions that the opponent will take in the next moment. Information and color have a lot to do with psychology. With this kind of detailed explanation, Kazaru also began to show his knowledge, and asked Bran who came along with him to shoot and attack the demonstration. After a routine demonstration, Sha En witnessed the whole process, and was immediately reproduced by the system and learned on the spot. Ding, observation hockey was successfully reproduced. Close black lens bracket. The system has detected that the skill has a huge room for improvement, and is performing evolution. Drip, evolution error, evolution error, correcting. What's the situation? I have indeed reproduced observation hockey on my body now, and I can feel that the knowledge and knowledge that Kazaru said is on my body, and I have mastered it. But the system was supposed to evolve this skill, but there was an unprecedented problem. Crashed, stuck, could it be that the memory is not enough? Sha En was stunned, and suddenly shocked. After all, this is a problem with the system, so there is no room for carelessness, so I hurriedly distracted myself to check the system. It seems that there is no problem, and the panels are normal, so why is there an evolution error? After checking it again, all functions are normal, and the system can also answer that there is no problem with itself. At this time, in the eyes of everyone outside, Sha En seems to be caught in some kind of thinking and comprehension, and no one cares. After a while, under the expectant eyes of everyone, Sha En could only ignore the evolutionary error that appeared in the system, and nodded to everyone. It's almost there, I have mastered observation hockey. Kazaru, Akainu, Aokiji, and Grandma Suru Sengoku all nodded in satisfaction. Witnessing Sha En's heaven defying talent for the first time, Brandon was very surprised, but was called to shoot Sha En at this time. Bang, bang, bang. Brandon shoots Sha En in the back several times. Sha En seemed to have eyes behind her back, and her figure seemed to be twisted randomly, dodging all the bullets perfectly. The ability to strongly perceive sound. In a very special and unspeakable state, Facing this kind of threatening attack, Sha En can easily capture the trajectory, Sha En can't help but marvel at the magic of seeing and hearing. In the hockey system, it can be said that knowledge color is more difficult than armed color. But this performance also allowed everyone to see that Sha En had indeed learned on the spot and mastered the color of knowledge. Except for Brandon, there were no surprises. Excellent, Sha En, Sengoku, Granny Crane and others clapped their hands with great satisfaction and smiled. Did you realize anything else? Kazaru couldn't hold back his curiosity at this moment, and asked urgently. Speaking of comprehension, everyone present looked expectantly and were very curious. Finger pistol, iron body, moon walk, armed color. What can you comprehend from the color of knowledge? But Sha En shook her head, feeling strange in her heart. I don't realize anything special right now. The evolution of the system is wrong, and the unknown situation cannot be understood by oneself. Don't worry if you don't feel anything right now, after all, you just learned the color of knowledge. There have been previous examples, such as the previous iron body, which was just learned and did not show new comprehension, but later turned into a defensive move of an artifact. So Sengoku, Granny Crane, Kazaru and others are not in a hurry, but looking forward to it. Maybe it will take some time. Sha En smiled and nodded. In fact, I was still thinking in my heart that there must be no problem with the system, probably because of my special experience. We don't doubt your talent, and you can still know it at first glance. Mr. Sengoku, Everyone is probably going to be busy in the future, and we are going to make the execution public. 
Why don't we hand over the rest of the six moves to Sha An now? 11. Kazaru patted Sha An on the shoulder as a sign of encouragement, and then proposed to Sengoku. Set the public execution site in Marineford, prepare war resources, this is the war, so whether it is Admiral, or Vice Admiral Rear Admirals will need to be busy with a lot of things. That's fine, I was worried about chewing too much before, but Sha An's talent heaven defying must not be a big problem, just to see if you can learn something from other skills. Sengoku agreed, Grandma Suru, Aokiji, and Akainu also nodded. In fact, everyone is looking forward to Sha An's comprehension of more moves, unlocking the six moves, and Haki's deeper comprehension. One is that as Sha An is a marine, the stronger the strength, the better, especially now when a big war is very likely to happen. The second is the deepening of these comprehensions. Although I can't learn it now, Sha An may not be able to teach others by then. This is very likely to be the road after reaching the bottleneck in the future, so the three admirals present are more or less selfish, and everyone's extraordinarily friendly attitude towards Chong An is also related to this aspect. As for how Sha An will change after becoming stronger, Sengoku and others have not thought about it. But what can be done? Sha An's talent, besides getting rid of him directly, will become a strong man sooner or later, it is better to cultivate it with heart. After teaching the six styles in one breath, Sha An has no objection and is straightforward. It's overdue to be taught. I muttered in my heart. Kazaru continued to teach. The first is the six style shaving. It has the same effect as the moon step. Within 0.36 seconds, stepping on the ground dozens of times at high speed continuously produces explosive reaction force to perform high speed moving moves. Generally speaking, it takes hard training to master. Kazaru patiently tried it in front of Sha An once. Ding, successful reenactment of the six style shaving. Close black lens bracket. System detection skills have huge room for improvement and are undergoing evolution. Shave, sigh, Sha An disappeared directly from the spot, moving back and forth at high speed. Shadows follow everywhere, and Branau can't even see Sha An's shadow. Tisk tisk tisk, another glance to learn. Aokiji sighed in admiration. Everyone else is smiling, too. It's already a little strange. Very well. It seems that shaving these is more difficult for you, then look at Tempest Kick. Kazaru clapped his hands with a smile, and then proceeded to the next step. In less than a minute, after demonstrating the Tempest Kick, Sha An watched carefully. Ding, reenactment of the sixth form. Tempest Kick succeeded, close black lens bracket. System detection skills have huge room for improvement, and are undergoing evolution. It's another hint of evolution, but the evolution has not been completed. Sha An was a little surprised, the system couldn't evolve two consecutive skills in a short time. You must know that the level of the previous magic gun light cannon evolved in just a few seconds. Forget it, you still can't worry, the successful reproduction means that there is no 3.0 problem. Sha An thought about it and stabilized her mind. Demo the Tempest kick in front of the crowd and it was perfect. This level is like the six styles that have been immersed for many years. The genius is really unreasonably strong. Aokiji watched with relish, like a big anecdote. Granny Crane, Sengoku and others are more satisfied with Sha An the more they look at it. The next one is the last one, the Paper Sutra. Seeing Sha An's perfect performance, Kazaru was no longer surprised. After a happy smile, he immediately started to demonstrate Paper Arts. Paper Arts, the last six moves, also have some moves similar to Knowledge Color. Sha An couldn't help but guess whether Garp developed it this way on purpose. Marine Six Styles, totally has a lot in common with Hockey. Then the system beeps. Ding, the success of the reenactment of the Six Style Paper Arts. Close Black Lens Bracket. System detection skills have huge room for improvement and are undergoing evolution. All three skills are evolving. System, why is it so slow this time? Starting off with an evolutionary error, Sha An had to be a little weird. Opening square bracket dot 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 closing square bracket. He kept asking questions in the sea of consciousness, but the system kept waiting. Sha An had no choice but to give up asking, and presented paper arts honestly to everyone. I'm flying in the wind like paper. No, the system, maybe it's stuck. Is it overloaded? During the presentation, Sha An was still thinking absently. Does this kind of situation happen in the tall and invincible system? Open black lens bracket host, please don't speculate on the power of the system at will, close black lens bracket. Ding. Skill evolved successfully, Tempest Kick evolved into skill, Night Guy. Chapter 53, Kazaru. Stop, I have a hunch that this kick is not easy. Yi Guy's starting point is the Imperial level. Advertise here, Night, Night Guy, 8 Inner Gates, Might Guy's unique skill. The ultimate mystery that can only be used after opening the eighth gate of death. After Sha An saw this skill, she couldn't help but froze in place, unable to calm down for a long time. How powerful is this move? Even Six Paths Madara directly mentions the Half Life move. In the world of pirates, it is undoubtedly an earth shattering move, and relying on the move of eight inner gates, I have evolved into it directly from Tempest Kick. It's terrible, the system, I thought it was wrong, how could you get stuck? At this moment, Sha An had an urge to use Yi Guy directly to see how powerful this horror is. Ding, 
The host does not need to open the dead door to release the night guy skill, and the power will gradually increase according to the progress value. Close black lens bracket. Sha En was even more excited when she saw this reminder, and at the same time she was a little amazed. Isn't this more pervert than Suzano? The reminder is also equivalent to explaining that the lower limit of this trick is high and the upper limit is not, so you can use it with confidence, host. At this time, in the eyes of everyone, Sha En, who was performing paper arts, suddenly felt a little strange, as if he had realized something, and everyone's eyes widened. Sha En, did you realize something? Marshal Sengoku asked hastily. Seeing a play, everyone is looking forward to it. Yeah. Dot but it's not paper arts, it's Tempest Kick, I figured it out. Sha En replied generously, obviously very happy. What move? There is a lesson from the past, Aokiji, Akainu, Kazaru and others all know that the moves Sha En comprehended are incredible, so they immediately asked. One move, a fierce move, kicking technique. Sha En didn't mention Yi Gai directly, but said it was very fierce. Dot how fierce is that? It's just a little bit fierce. Tempest kick, comprehend kicking skills, this seems to be no problem. As soon as Kazaru heard that it was a kicking skill, he immediately became interested. When it comes to kicking, he is the best at sparkling fruit among the three admirals. Why don't you come to the demonstration and compete with me directly? Kazaru was a little eager to try and made a suggestion on the spot. As we all know, none of Sha En's moves is weak, and almost all six of them are close to the strength of admiral level. So Kazaru really wants to see, will his kicking skills be better than his own or about the same? Sha En had long had the urge to be a night guy, and nodded decisively when she heard Kazaru's suggestion. What's there to hesitate about, and is there a better test subject than admiral? If it is a 100% Yi Gai, Sha En may not easily use it, but after evolution, it is estimated that it will not reach the level of breaking six paths Madara before getting the progress value. So in one piece, playing against Admiral is just right. Don't be a one-time big move. By the way, Might Guy can only use Night Guy, Sha En is very impressive. Although the system said that there was no need to open the dead door, I didn't know what it felt like before I tried it. You can take it easy. Although Sengoku and others are looking forward to it, they have to remind. Whether it's Kazaru or Sha En, it's no exaggeration to say that they are all, natural disaster, level powerhouses now. The fight was too enjoyable, and the marines who were preparing for the big battle were blown up. Sha En is really a little weak, who knows how powerful Yi Gai will be, this is beyond his control. 3. Kazaru nodded, and after standing in opposition to Sha En, the special signs of elementalization began to appear on his body. Sha En, my speed of light kick is very fast. Speed is power. It's hard to be hit by a light kick. Laughing, Kazaru raised one leg at the same time. And Sha En also started to burst out Yi Gai. Come on, show me the power of Yi Gai. Go. Similar to the arrogance of Kai Wang Fist, the blood red burst of steam enveloped the whole body like an arrogance. Under the powerful aura, the stone slabs that had just been built suddenly cracked, spreading like spider webs. It's amazing. Why do I feel that it's stronger than the Kaioken last time? Aokiji was taken aback, looking at the red steam figure and said. Stronger than Sha En who just started using Kai Wang Fist. But this red steam seems to be different, it doesn't improve Sha En's overall, how can there be such a feeling? The same is true for Akainu. In other words, the prelude to Night Guy without the eight inner gates made these powerhouses a little confused about Gen En's aura at this time. Strong is very strong, and even improved, but there is a sense of disobedience, as if everything is waiting for Sha En's attack to erupt to see the full picture. When the red steam billows and rolls, Kazaru was also in a state of shock in Sha En's heart, but the movement of his legs did not stop but the legs with light began to accelerate, and he wanted to attack with a light speed sweep. At this time, Sha En, who was bursting with red aura, also felt that with the outbreak of Yi Gai, she had the illusion that she could destroy everything in front of her eyes. The speed of light is very fast, but after entering the Night Guy state, he can see clearly with his dynamic vision. So without hesitation, he turned around and kicked with his long legs. The same move as Kazaru, targeting his legs too. But as soon as the attack came out, Kazaru felt something was wrong. Great horror. Really big horror. As if being locked by the huge red beast, the sparkling fruit's elemental body gave birth to a chill. How can I feel this way? It's so strong. I will be seriously injured if I step down with this kick. The thought was only for a moment, Kazaru's gaze under the sunglasses was horrified, and cold sweat overflowed from his forehead. Can't kick each other. Then stop without hesitation. Stop. Fortunately, Kazaru stopped immediately. The two didn't really launch moves at the speed of life and death. Hearing this, Sha En quickly stopped his movements, the red steam all over his body turned into a strong wind and blew all directions, forcefully taking Yi Gai back. He knew that with this kick, the system might prompt progress. But at the same time, during the release of this kick, Sha En also felt that she still underestimated Yi Gai's power. The false feeling that I can destroy everything in front of me, even if I can't completely do it, it won't be too far away. As soon as Sha En closed his legs, Kazaru turned into light and stepped back for a while, looking at Sha En with some lingering fear. Unbelievable. Absolutely nothing wrong. 
Not only my own consciousness early warning, but even the color of knowledge can perceive that danger. Shouldn't I have made a move? At this time, calling a stop is somewhat embarrassing, but at the same time Kazaru is a little thankful that he called a stop in time. However, there are ten people in the crowd who would laugh at Kazaru. Sengoku, Aokiji, Akainu, Granny Crane and others all felt the horror of Sha En's kick. If it's really kicked out, I'm afraid it will be extremely shocking. Akainu's hunch was not wrong. Sha En's aura may not be so earth-shattering, but the energy it contains is really terrifying. All the power will burst into terror the moment Sha En releases it. Your kicking skills are too amazing, you can't easily use them against your own people. Marshal Sengoku was really taken aback and quickly reminded Sha En. It can be regarded as telling everyone, don't try Sha En's trick lightly. There is nothing wrong with being a strong player at their level. It can be seen how decisive Kazaru called to stop just now, otherwise the public execution may be absent. The steam that turned into red formed the aura of Kaiwang Fist, Sha En, wouldn't this move consume your life energy? Granny Crane asked with some concern. It's the power of Chi and blood, but it doesn't consume my life, but it takes a lot of energy to use it once. Before Sha En used it, it was unclear what would happen if Yi Gai was released directly. But now, although I haven't completely kicked it out, I have learned a lot from it. Phew, that's good, this trick is very scary to us, it's better not to use it on our own people. Sengoku breathed a sigh of relief and said to Sha En. Seeing this is enough, everyone also knows that Sha En's comprehension is not so easy to learn, they teach each other, and no one can learn the previous ones. So it is enough to determine how much power the moves can exert. The old man was taken aback just now, and he said without embarrassment that his heart broke at that moment. Kazaru touched his forehead and said helplessly. Sengoku and the admirals were a little surprised when they heard this. Even Kazaru commented like this, which shows how much pressure Sha En's new move has brought to him, so it's no wonder that he simply stopped it. But the only rear admiral present, the meeting King Branu was completely speechless in shock. Sha En Vice Admiral has comprehended a new move that even Pelusolino Admiral dare not accept. In other words, Sha En already has the strength to hurt Admiral. This is too scary. Actually how long has Sha En joined Marine? Really pervert. Okay. Let's forget about the tricks, now I have learned all six moves, Sha En, do you feel any breakthroughs in the others? Sengoku was amazed by this kick, but was also concerned about Sha En's other insights. This one is so pervert, so strong that even the people watching the battle feel that the kick will be very scary. After comprehending the other moves, is it possible to have such outrageous moves? At least they are the same as those of the previous finger pistol. But at this time, Sha En heard the words and subconsciously glanced at the system panel. Open black lens bracket extreme training system close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket host. Sha En close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket comprehensive value. 5900. Close black lens bracket. Skill. Magic penetration light cannon 229%. Attack power. Emperor level. Close black lens bracket. Skill. Dancing Kongshu 230%. Dexterity. Admiral level. Close black lens bracket. Skill. Suzano 120%. Defense. Emperor level. Attack. Admiral level. Close black lens bracket. Skill. Realm King Fist 510%. Consume stamina for all round improvement. Close black lens bracket. Skill. Observation hockey. Evolution error. Being corrected. Close black lens bracket. Skill. Six style shaving. Evolving. Skills. Six style paper arts. Evolving. Skill. Night guy 0%. Attack power. Emperor level. Close black lens bracket. It can be seen that what should be evolved is still evolving, and the color of knowledge is still being revised. But Yi Gai's attribute, namely empirical Jin Un, was taken aback. I haven't seen it before, but now I can't help being surprised. I remember that the magic penetration light killing cannon reached the imperial level attack power after exceeding 200%. What a night guy, 0% is the imperial level attack level. No, I still haven't realized anything. It will take some time and opportunity. Sha En pretended to sigh helplessly, but actually laughed heartily at the panel. If you can comprehend it so casually, then this talent is really only the reincarnation of the gods. Aokiji laughed, not surprised. That's right, after all, you have learned so much, and now you have learned such a terrifying kicking technique 987, so let's consolidate your strength. Sengoku also offered words of encouragement. What should be taught has also been taught, and everyone will naturally not. Wasted too much time here. A lot of things need to be prepared for the public execution. After saying a few words, Sengoku told Sha En to be careful when going to complete the task, and then took everyone away. Come on, if there is any emergency, you must contact me. You are now not just one person, but the whole marine, but don't stress too much. Da Flamingo is a pirate, you don't need to give him too much face just because of his special status, you must first ensure your own safety. Before leaving, Kazaru, Akainu, and Bu also solemnly attached to Sha En, the focus is still on safety. After all, 
Everyone now sees that Sha En is the future admiral, the strongest admiral. WWW. After a few days. New World. Dressrosa. In the Alpine Kingdom, more than half of the cadres of the Don Quixote family gathered here, bowing their heads to appease a big, thick, and eight-meter-tall electrician. This fierce man wears metal jaws on his mouth, and two ivory-shaped decorations on his head and shoulders, with a look of impatience and anger. This person is one of the three boards of the four Emperor's Beasts Pirates, Jack the Dro. Jack, this is not something we can control all at once. Both the manufacturing of the Smile Factory and SAD need technological advancement to increase the success rate. Diamante's head was covered with cold sweat, and he persuaded Jack with kind words. Asshole. Then let Guy do the research. What our beasts want is not only sufficient goods, but also a guaranteed success rate, you know. Jack slammed the wine glass on the ground fiercely, and drank furiously. Diamante, Torebel and other cadres could only humbly come forward to accompany the smiling faces, no matter how uncomfortable they were in their hearts, they did not dare to offend them. Because these are all explained by Dover, no matter how much Jack makes a fuss, he can't tear his face. At this moment, Da Flamingo was also present, and was sitting in the main seat, holding his cheek expressionlessly, watching Jack get angry in silence. If he was just a billionaire pirate, of course Da Flamingo wouldn't take it to heart. If he was so arrogant, he would have gone to the factory to work as a laborer. But Jack is Kaido, the right-hand man of the invincible Kaido. Da Flamingo knew that he couldn't offend him, and today's attack was probably a temptation deliberately arranged by Kaido. No matter what the reason is, he dare not speak out now, because he can't lose the deal with Kaido, so he can only hold his breath and watch. At this moment, suddenly a subordinate walked in tremblingly, not daring to look up, and reported directly to Brother Ming with a gloomy face, Young. Young master, a marine is coming. Chapter 54 Sha En. I let you go, you must go. Brother Ming. Why is this guy worse than a drought? Advertise here. The marine summoning Shichibukai has arrived. Da Flamingo secretly breathed a sigh of relief, in fact, he had already known in advance that Marine would send someone to deliver the summoning order. It came on time. Thinking about it, Da Flamingo focused his attention on Jack who was still furious. Because the success rate of man-made devil fruit is low, did you come here on purpose to raise a teacher? Just now that Jack the Dro is messing around here, Da Flamingo has scruples and can take the opportunity to send him away. Joker. You should understand how important the army of capable users is to Governor Kaido's plan, your subordinates are trying to shirk. You are the boss here, do you think it can be done better? Jack's eyes were full of anger, he didn't care about the news of Marine's arrival, instead he began to question Da Flamingo. Joker, one of the underground kings, is also a partner of Wanokuni's arms export. Generally speaking, even if it is one of the three major signs, it will not be easily offended by the drought. But under the reason of man-made devil fruit in my heart, I want Don Quixote family to guarantee the success rate of artificial fruit. This must be the pressure deliberately exerted by the beast's pirates. Da Flamingo knew it well, but he was annoyed and had no choice but to do so. So he said, technological progress is not something that one of us can say with a single mouth. We will increase the supply of fruits, but the success rate still needs Governor Kaido and so on. Calm down too, Marine has already arrived on Dressrosa Island, it will be bad if you are found. As he said that, Da Flamingo didn't have the patience to stay here, and used the excuse to deal with Marine. Yes, your excellency Jack, please go ahead, the Marine will be here soon. Several people in Torebel also took the opportunity to persuade him, signaling his subordinates to ask him to leave quickly. But who is Jack? Reckless. He may have some awareness in battle, but when dealing with people, he is a brainless guy who plays tricks. At this time, he only has the entrustment of his elder brother Yan Huan to him. It's best to put pressure on the Joker. Otherwise, the success rate of so many man-made devil fruits traded in weapons is too low, when will a complete army of capable users be formed? Seeing that Da Flamingo got up and was about to leave, Jack got angry when he heard it, and his burly body directly threw his subordinates into the air. Master Jack. There was a few bangs, and the people around him, including his own subordinates, Don Quixote's subordinates all flew upside down and fell, screaming. And Jack directly stopped Brother Ming. Joker, you must give an answer to this matter. I have forgotten who your trading partner is. Jack's tone was no longer angry at Don Quixote's cadres, and directly reprimanded Da Flamingo. Immediately, Da Flamingo's entire face became gloomy, and Toropal and the others were even more cloudy and shocked. Brother Ming has an impulse in his heart at this moment. But Jack's strength is not that simple, and with the people he brought, Brother Ming is not sure. Answer I already said, Jack, what exactly do you want? It's not easy to provoke, Da Flamingo suppressed the unhappiness in his heart, and said, his tone was much cooler. You are not allowed to go anywhere. Isn't it just some Marines? As for asking you to go in person. Master Kaido's matter is the most important. You must deliver the goods until you are satisfied. The success rate cannot be changed for a while, so increase the quantity. Jack made his own calculations. This is equivalent to the same weapon price in exchange for more man-made devil fruit. Da Flamingo was about to laugh angrily, the anger in his heart surged straight up, the veins on his forehead popped up, and his whole face looked hideous. 
But the next moment, he had to restrain his impulse again. Because Jack threatened. Do as I say, or don't blame me for crushing Dressrosa. The drought and his subordinates can really cause huge damage here. It is precisely because of the understanding that Doflamingo has such fears. You must know that Dressrosa is his painstaking effort for more than ten years. There are too many interests involved, and the consequences will be very serious. And once you make a move with Jack, it's not as simple as this guy, the beast's pirates will definitely support him, and he will lose Wanokuni's weapon supply by then. Toropal, Diamante and others were all sweating and gloomy, waiting for Doflamingo to make a decision. But weighing the pros and cons and fearing Kaido's majesty, Doflamingo could only suppress his anger and swallow the breath abruptly. Tell Marine, I can't go to Shichibukai's call backquote. I can only let people refuse Marine, Brother Ming knows that he will spend some time with Jack. It's your honor to fulfill Governor Kaido's request, Joker. Seeing Doflamingo subdued, he snorted. The result is at this time. Suddenly, Shaw En's voice came down from the sky. Hey, it's quite lively. The sudden voice made Jack suddenly raised his head and shouted. Who? Doflamingo, Torebel, Olaji and others also looked up, only to see a young man wearing a coat of justice and the rank of Vice Admiral flying from the air with a relaxed expression. Marine Shaw En. At first glance, everyone recognized the person who came, and it was Marine who had been in the limelight recently. Especially Doflamingo. Ever since he heard about Beckman and Marco's blocking incident, he knew that Shaw En was not easy, and he couldn't help but feel moved at this moment. Unexpectedly, the person Marine sent to negotiate is actually him. With Jack from the Beast's Pirates present, Doflamingo was not in a hurry, but Torebel and the other cadres thought it was not a good thing, and each of them showed a look of fear. Don Quixote family is the Shichibukai Pirates, and Wangai Jack is the Four Emperors. One is the allies, the other is the enemy. Getting hit head-on by Marine is not a good thing, who knows how the Marine genius Vice Admiral will react. So for a while, Doflamingo didn't speak, and the cadres didn't know what to do. Watching Shaw N fall lightly. Jack was a little surprised, just now someone reported that Marine had arrived, but he didn't expect this Marine to barge in by himself. Similarly, Jack also recognized Shaw N. In his opinion, outside rumors are not worth mentioning. What kind of genius is Marine? He is arrogant and disdainful. He glanced at Doflamingo, and immediately said to Shaw N with a wild tone, Marine, you are so courageous. Get out of here. Shaw En didn't expect that Doflamingo could meet the drought here. Of course, Shaw En has no interest in the tricky relationship between the two, and the drought does not pose any threat to herself. He simply ignored it, and expressed his intention to Doflamingo, Heavenly Yaksha, by order of the world government, officially issued a summons order to you. Doflamingo knows far more information than Jack, and Jack only heard about Ace's arrest, so he doesn't know Shaw En's subsequent record. And Brother Ming knows very well that Shaw En is really powerful and has been reminded by the undercover vigor many times, so he doesn't dare to take it too seriously. So in the face of Shaw En's notification, Doflamingo looked back and said, I have long admired the name, Marine's new star, Shaw En Vice Admiral. But you still go back and tell Sengoku that I won't be able to go to Marineford this time. While speaking, he glanced at Jack, who was looking at the true kindness with amusement. In New World, seeing Marine dare to be so arrogant, this is the authority of the four emperors. Shaw En acted as if no one was there, and didn't care about other people's gazes, not even Jack, who was gearing up for fisting. At this time, there is a mandatory summoning order. I have a mission and I must ask you to go, and you must go too. The tone was still flat, but the determination that could be expressed made Doflamingo's face change. Torebel Dynasty G was also surprised at the ministry. Must go. This Shaw En is too strong, can't you see that the atmosphere at the scene is not right? Jack on the side was still full of impatience. Brother Ming didn't expect Shaw En's attitude to be so resolute, and now it's really hard to get off. One side is the drought of beasts, the other side is marine, and now Doflamingo doesn't want to offend either side. But at this moment, there was a crash. Seeing that Jack was furious on the spot, looking at Shaw En who was ignoring him, he overturned the table in front of him and strode towards Shaw En. Get out, didn't you hear? Doflamingo can't follow you. Just forced Doflamingo to hand over more goods. Once he leaves, he can't get artificial devil fruit to go back to trade. How can this work? And Jack couldn't bear the attitude towards Shaw En, he had never seen such an arrogant Marine. Stop, Jack. Doflamingo's eyes changed, and he quickly stopped in front of him. There must be no conflict between the drought and the Marine, and if there is a fight, it cannot be fought here in Dressrosa. It seems that you are not afraid of me, there is collusion between Shichibukai and the four emperors, the problem is very serious. Shaw En was calm and composed, seeing this scene, said with great interest. Is he crazy? Didn't see that Dover was helping him. Jack is on fire right now, and if you put him in conflict with Marine, things will get more complicated. The cadres like Torebel and Pika cursed in their hearts, this Jack the Dro is really a big trouble. But it's also strange that Shaw En doesn't seem to care about the presence of beasts. If you want to sue me, I can't help it. I really can't go this time, and you have seen the situation, otherwise I can't explain it to Kaido. Doflamingo has given both sides enough face. 
I can only persuade Sha An to quit first, and then make plans after meeting Jack's requirements. After all, both of them are powerful and have huge backgrounds, so they are not easy to offend. Jack, you'd better restrain yourself a bit. Although I respect Kaido, don't make trouble in Duresaros. After Doflamingo finished talking to Sha An, he also spoke seriously to Jichen. Although he won't really do anything to Jack, but he still has to speak out, otherwise his reckless character will fight with Marine, and the factory he just built will cause huge losses to the kingdom. He he he. Joker, that's my face for you. Because of Shaw En's angry words, Jack directly interrupted Brother Ming's words, and replied that he didn't take Doflamingo's warning seriously, just to save face. However, his ferocious eyes kept moving around Shaw En's body, as if saying that you were lucky, get out of here. I'm not interested in your relationship, my mission is to call you back to Marineford, so be sure to come with me. Shaw En directly pretended that Jack behind Doflamingo was the heir, repeated calmly, and asked Doflamingo again. What's the matter between them? You, don't you understand? Doflamingo almost choked in one breath, and said helplessly. This guy, didn't he see the situation clearly? Jack is still on the side, so he can't make a detour first. It's too cool, it's good to pretend for a while, the drought is so hot. Explode, this must not explode. The cadres of the Don Quixote family were all on the side, complaining loudly in their hearts, sweat was overflowing on the surface, and they looked stiffly at Jack who had already sunk. Sure enough, Jack really went straight to the friar. Boy, let you go again and again, you are courting death. The bloodshot eyes were protruding from the glaring eyeballs, and Jack the Drow yelled violently, his momentum was like scrolling, it was very frightening. While talking, Jack shot straight at Shaw N. Except for Doflamingo, the others scattered almost subconsciously, complaining incessantly. This guy is really a genius in Marine. The brain is so twisted, and Dressrosa must be involved. Even at this time, it was too late for Doflamingo to prevent Jack from going berserk. Since you don't know good from bad, go to hell. Remember this is New World, not your naval headquarters. The huge fist whizzed, one strode forward, smashed the floor under his feet and smashed towards Shaw En at the same time. Facing Jack's sudden attack, Shaw En's face was very calm, but for the first time, she looked at Jack squarely. A pirate with a hundred beasts didn't have much interest in you. Lifting her finger, Shaw En didn't even raise Suzano. Before the words were finished, facing Jack who was rushing towards him like a beast, the light shone brightly between his backhands. At this distance, the magic light cannon with an evolution value of more than 200 is not much different from the instant one. Before Jack's lunge was halfway through, the blue beam directly penetrated his fist. Armed color. Knowledge color. Under the close-range magic gun light killing cannon, none of them have any effect. The light beam piercing through the fist directly passed over Jack's arm, before the severe pain was transmitted, it had already brushed against Jack's ear. Afterwards, blast directly into the kingdom. A scream erupted from Jack's mouth, and everyone at the scene widened their eyes in shock to realize what had happened. Even Doflamingo didn't expect that Shaw En's backhand attack actually made Jack scream and hurt. However, the power of the magic light cannon is far more than that. The screams sounded, and everyone's shocked expressions emerged, and the next second, a terrifying fire erupted directly from the place where the beam fell. Chapter 55 Relying on the Ship King to be crushed, amazing defense methods, can even block poisonous gas. Advertise here. No one expected that Shaw En's blow could bring such terrifying destructive power. The hall connected to the platform was shaken violently, and the ceiling was directly knocked over by the violent explosion. A huge earthquake occurred in the entire palace. Everywhere you looked, everything was torn apart by violent explosions. No, the cadres of the Don Quixote family were tearing their eyes open, watching the palace behind them crack and crumble in the flames. The formidable power, together with the impact behind them made them unstable. Jack, who was pierced through his fist and screamed, was repulsed, and then was pushed to the garden platform of the palace by the shock wave under the explosion and fell. Doflamingo was the only one among them who could still react, but seeing the palace that he almost destroyed in the explosion, he was shocked and dumbfounded. His cognition has been refreshed again, and he still underestimated Shaw En's strength. Just one blow can cause such terrifying power. This guy can actually injure Jack in an instant. And it's so powerful. He didn't feel bad for his palace, and Doflamingo was more shocked by the power of Gen En's attack. What's more, even he was stunned by the shock, and the cadres of Don Quixote family, who got down on their feet, broke out in a cold sweat. The flames that erupted dimmed, and a huge circular crater appeared. Everyone retreated to the edge of the platform, and the hall where they were originally no longer exists at all. There is only a huge gap where you can see the mountains behind and the sea in the distance. Shaw En's blow actually directly destroyed a piece of the entire mountain palace. This, this is too scary. I almost got sucked in. This guy is not in vain. To be able to fight against four emperors, he really has terrifying strength. Torebel, Diamante and others were all sweating profusely, swallowing their throats with difficulty. Doflamingo looked at Shaw En in surprise, and his thoughts were extremely complicated for a while. My palace was destroyed, Jack was shot through, the inevitable confrontation between marine and beasts, and afterwards I had to pay a huge price to calm down. Most importantly, 
Wrong estimate of Sha En's strength. He definitely has the strength to defeat the drought. At this time, Jack, who was face down in the garden soil with blood dripping from his palms, was staring with disbelief. At the beginning, he really looked down on Sha En, the genius of Marine, and the new star of 343 who took over the red hair and avoided it. In his opinion, it was nothing more than a campaign by the world government. Today, he has been ignoring himself, and his dissatisfaction with Doflamingo has already become uncontrollable. But I didn't expect that I would suffer such a big loss after making a move. Sha En Vice Admiral, Doflamingo seems to want to say something to Sha En. But Sha En waved his hands at this time, and looked down at Jack who was lying on his stomach with some displeasure. Originally, it was just barking casually when you were in the air. Since you love to show off so much, can you take it? Do you really think you are Kaido? The tone showed disdain for Jack, Sha En really didn't care what the beasts did, but it was different to stop herself from completing the task. And dare to attack yourself. The last one who attacked him was forced to jump into the sea and was almost drowned, yet he still dared to attack him. Doflamingo opened his mouth, and wanted to emphasize that Jack is the cadre of beasts, but Sha En didn't even care about Kaido, and immediately stopped the words in his throat. It turns out that this guy didn't see Jack when he flew over just now. He wasn't afraid of the beast's pirates, but he just ignored him and looked down on Jack. The people in Torebel also had their minds turned sharply, with cold sweat on their heads, trying to find a way to calm down the conflict. No matter what, their Don Quixote family is caught in the middle, no matter who has a problem with Shaw and or Jack, it is hard to explain. But at this time, Jack had already stood up from the pit shaking his head, raised his hand angrily, and looked at the palm that was pierced and bleeding. Suddenly there was a beast-like roar. Originally a murloc, he added the identity of the beast's pirate's big board, except for the other big boards above him and Kaido, there is no one in his arrogance. At this moment, the anger surged straight up, and the eyes were red. You're going to die ugly. Turning around, the ferocious appearance stunned Don Quixote. At the same time, Jack pulled out the two crafty knives behind him and wanted to jump up and continue to attack Sha En. The word death, don't say it lightly, you can't bear it. Sha En sneered, took a step forward to stand in the air, and calmly raised her finger to Jack who jumped up from below. Even if he took a shot of the magic gun, Jack the Drow didn't have a long memory at all. I don't know if it was because of his anger or because the murloc's head was too reckless. After seeing Sha En's actions, he yelled, come on. The whole person rose from the ground like a cannonball, and bounced towards Sha En above. At the same time, the beam of magic light cannon burst out from Sha En's hand. Facing the beam of light penetrating through his palm, Jack's two knife focused armed color seems to be more intense, as if he poured all the hockey from his whole body into it, and the black pure bounces in the air while struggling to slash towards the beam of light. The powerful and heavy appearance makes other people look shocked, but the big sign of Shindao Hundred Beasts is really powerful. It's astounding how ferocious it is. However, the expected blocking of the Vice Admiral beam did not appear. How frightening Jack swings a knife, then how quickly he loses. The moment those two sickle-like weird weapons touched the magic gun, the armament hockey covering the wound was immediately defeated. Under the powerful impact, Jack really felt the terrifying penetrating power of the magic gun. The two knives are a tool to transmit power. When Jack is directly unable to fight, the jaws of both hands are cracked, and the weapon falls out of his hand. The motong light killing cannon rubbed his arm and fell below, causing a huge explosion. The garden full of sunflowers was instantly engulfed by flames, and with the explosion, a burst of impact made Jack, who had already bounced up, unable to control his body and flew out. This, Torebel, Granos and several cadres seemed to have something stuck in their throats, they couldn't speak in shock, and their pupils were trembling. No matter how I thought about it, I never expected that Sha En would be so strong. The first time it could be said that Jack was unprepared, but the second time everyone saw it clearly, Jack fought hard and was defeated by Sha En without any resistance. Jack, the poor fellow, fell back into the flames. As for Sha En, she always had that indifferent look of no interest. So strong. The finger pistol that is rumored to fire laser, at least it is close to the level of Admiral. Marine, what kind of monsters have been cultivated? No wonder they are safe and sound in the hands of Beckman and the others. Fortunately, I didn't offend you directly just now. The drought really kicked the iron plate, but in the end it was me who was in trouble. Doflamingo didn't stop exclaiming in his heart, and at the same time he was a little irritable. Finally, I can see that Sha En has the ability to deal with it indifferently. No wonder she has been so calm since her arrival, and her disdain for the drought is even more naked. But if there is an accident in the drought, I will be blamed and implicated by Kaido. I hope he can be more rational in the drought and retreat quickly. But who is Jack? Even if Sha En fired a magical light to kill the weapon and knocked off the weapon, and was injured again, this brain is even more irrational. The fire and explosion gradually weakened, the vibration stopped, and suddenly there was a sound like oh. Jack, who turned into a mammoth, rushed out of the explosion site, raised his head in his huge body and let out an elephant cry at Sha En. Obviously he was still not convinced, as if he was clamoring for Sha En to fight. The ancient zone is really tough enough to fight. Sha En didn't have much of a surprise, AGCC knew that zone was more resilient. 
If it wasn't in the explosion of the magic gun, it didn't seem to cause much damage to him. But Sha En didn't want to waste any time at all, and wanted Doflamingo to go back to deal with him. He simply raised his finger, and under the shocked eyes of Doflamingo and his subordinates, three consecutive shots of the magic light cannon shot down towards the drought below. The changed Jack's movement speed has dropped a lot, and he didn't even evade when the first magic light killing cannon fell again. While covering hockey, he actually wanted to block it directly. It can only be said that the reckless head is iron, and I don't know if he is too confident in his ancient body. The result was that when the magic gun pierced through his body without hindrance, he couldn't help but let out another hum, and then the entire huge body was blown out. The power of the magic light cannon made all the crew members of the beast's pirates feel their scalps go numb. Torebel and others swallowed their throats and saw the rumored, finger pistol. It can fly, and finger pistol can emit lasers. These have all been spread, and everyone is amazed by it. Doflamingo is extremely dignified, however, what Jack didn't expect was that just after he fell to the ground, the second shot of the magic gun shot down. This forced him to yelp and twist his body with his nose, narrowly dodging his body. But the explosion that followed engulfed the entire body. Everyone could see that the first and second beam explosion swallowed up Jack, leaving only the outline of the black elephant body flying. Don't forget, Sha En is attacking three times in a row this time. The third time, the magic penetrating light killing cannon was reflected in the eyes of everyone again, and it was transmitted to the entire mountain palace with violent vibrations. Everyone didn't have time to see whether Jack had been hit or not, and everyone was sweating profusely as they supported the buildings around them. Faintly, it was Jack's scream. Can you still move? Sha En floated in midair, mumbled casually, but did not continue to attack. Even though it was just a random killing cannon, Jack would not feel better no matter how much he could resist, and injury was inevitable. I also plan to ignore him first and continue talking to Doflamingo later. But at this moment, Jack below shouted hoarsely, gas bomb. This is an order. He couldn't beat Sha En, but was beaten into a mess by multiple magic beam killing cannons. Jack could react no matter how reckless or brainless he was. Under normal circumstances, Sha En himself would not be able to threaten him at all, so he decisively gave the order in this gap. That's right, there were actually many members of the Beast's Pirates, Jack the Dro's subordinates, dressed in animal skins. Under the impact again and again, they were actually somewhat frightened. They had just reacted and didn't have time to care about the drought. After hearing the order, they immediately took out the gas bombs equipped with them. The so-called poisonous gas bombs are all poisonous gas developed by Plague Quinn. Once released, they will cover a large area. What's more, if so many people use it at the same time, the concentration will be very alarming. Sha En is not. He didn't care, but Doflamingo scolded angrily. Jack, don't be so mean. Obviously he knows how powerful this poisonous gas is, and it will take at least a long time for the poisonous gas to dissipate. But the beasts only obeyed Jack, and the gas bombs were released one after another falling on the dilapidated palace and the platform where everyone was, even the garden platform under Jack fell a lot. At the same time, the members of the Beast's Pirates put on transparent poison gas masks one by one to isolate them. Judging by the power of this action, it is obviously not the first time this has been done. Jack returned to his human form in the form of a mammoth, and took out his mask with a ferocious expression. And Doflamingo also found a gas mask and put it on quickly, but the other cadres didn't expect such a crop at all, and they were completely unprepared. When the faint green poisonous gas covered them, they were directly enveloped in it. Capable users like Torebel and Pika were not immune to the poisonous gas, and symptoms of weakness and weakness appeared immediately. And the gas bomb immediately contained a lot of poisonous gas, especially seeing that Sha En raised his hand and beat Jack like this, and the members of the Beast's Pirates threw out many poisonous gas. Air bomb, merciless. It doesn't matter how the poisonous gas spreads here, it doesn't matter if this is the royal palace, it will look like a layer of green dew when looking at the mountain palace from the bottom of the mountain. Bastard. If my factory is affected. Doflamingo is out of breath. But within a few seconds, he himself was also affected, feeling that something was infected in his breath, as if some foreign matter had entered his respiratory tract. On the other hand, the clear glass shades that the guys from the Beast's Pirates wear work really well. If you fly in the air, you will be enveloped in poisonous gas. Jack was also looking at Sha En with a grim smile when the poisonous gas spread. As long as he is poisoned, then he is still in his own hands. It wasn't long after that, Jack's expression suddenly stiffened. Even Doflamingo was stunned to see where Sha En was. I saw an orange-red, translucent energy-shaped skeleton enveloping Sha En, which was very mighty and imposing. All kinds of poisonous gas had already shrouded, but Sha En was completely unaffected by it, and looked down at Jack as if looking down at a clown. Poison gas. What a joke. Everyone present, even wearing a gas mask, will be affected, only the Suzano activated by Sha En can completely isolate the gas. Chapter 56 Sha En provokes Kaido. Do you dare to fight? Advertise here. You, what are you? Even Quinn's poisonous gas can't be corroded. Jack stared at the orange-red Suzano on Sha En's body, feeling palpitations in his heart. The released poison gas is visible to the naked eye and is isolated by this energy. 
That's how the reputation of the drought came about, 1 billion reward, gold, 900 million poison gas. Sha An has long known the means of drought. Strength. To be honest, only physical fitness can be seen, and the rest is really nothing. Thinking about it, Inulin, Snake, and Ashura Boy can fight against him. This kind of strength is really not very good for the current Sha An. But the appearance of Suzano surprised everyone present. Doflamingo had learned about it based on top secret information, but it was the first time he saw it with his own eyes. But others have only heard of Sha En's finger pistol, flying. Looking at it now, my heart is shocked. Sha En's Suzano, even in the first stage of the form, they didn't know how to describe it, they were only shocked, especially Sha En's momentum at this time. Quinn has been annoyed for a long time, he is arrogant and arrogant, and he is poisonous. Sha En is impatient, and the backhand against Quinn below is to blast out the magic light again. I want to see how you can carry it. The magic penetrating light killing cannon pierced down again. At this time, Jack returned to his human form because of wearing a gas mask. Without his huge figure, he seemed to be able to avoid Zanjin's attack better. But the result was that the magic gun that fell into the ground burst into flames, and the terrifying kinetic energy impact and high temperature instantly swallowed Jack's entire body. Jack, who was already injured, hurriedly covered armament hockey, but he still spat out a mouthful of blood from the impact of the huge power, and his whole body was shaking and uncomfortable. The body of more than 8 meters was like a light and fluffy toy, and it was immediately thrown away. But before it hit the ground, Sha En's magic gun shot down again. It directly broke Jack's gas shield, and the poisonous gas was blown away. In the burst of flames, the miserable Jack was blown away again. All the people present who were poisoned and struggling could see Jack's miserable condition, for a moment they forgot about their own condition, and their faces turned greener after being poisoned. This is Marine Sha En. The new star who is said to be a genius. The guy who can fight a redhead without getting hurt. Even the drought has no power to fight back, it can only be blown up like a toy, flying around, unable to see the ground. The huge burst of power drove the airflow below to surge, blowing all the poisonous gas covering the palace into the sky. Doflamingo couldn't help swallowing his throat secretly, his eyes shifted from the miserable Jack to standing in the void, he stretched out his hand and fired, finger pistol, easily, Sha En as if he was playing. Underestimated, underestimated, he can even ravage Jack the Drow so easily. The ability to fly, finger pistol and that strange defense on his body, what kind of ability is it? Doflamingo was shocked and full of curiosity to find out about Sha En. I also understand that Marine really produced a monster comparable to Sengoku and Garp. Even more pervert. After the beast's pirates released the gas bombs, there was no further action. At this moment, they were completely terrified and did not dare to move again. And Jack, who was continuously bombarded below, fell completely in the flames and passed out after Sha En fired several consecutive magic light killing cannons. Seeing that the family couldn't hold on, Sha En withdrew her hand. The platform below was completely devastated by the bombing, only Jack's body was lying there with black smoke. Look at Sha En, and then look at Jack's miserable situation. Everyone's scalps were numb, and they said in their hearts that this strength is too terrifying. Drought, one of the three signboards of Beast's Pirates, the great pirate under the Emperor. Just so powerless to fight back, he was knocked unconscious from the beginning of the attack. The important thing is that until now, I haven't even touched a single hair of my opponent. Sha En is still the same as when she first came here, she didn't even get dusty, and she survived the drought without injury. It uses no more than two moves, that is, the finger emits laser light, and it is done. What a huge impact this has on the people of the Don Quixote family and the people of the Beast's Pirates, it is shocking. At first, Jack's anger made everyone present chill. Even Doflamingo didn't want to have a conflict. Sha En didn't pay much attention to Jack. For him, Jack is just a small obstacle in completing the task, and the ancient species are not as resistant as he imagined. At least the last time Marco and the others resisted a little more. So I didn't care about the, little role, in my mind. Looking back at the stunned Doflamingo again, he said, it's just a little trouble, come with me. Little trouble, how dare you say it? Doflamingo swallowed, his expression was already struggling. Strength is indeed the best reason, but it is precisely because of strength that Doflamingo has to be more worried. Sha N Vice Admiral is as powerful as the rumors say, she she she, dot but I still can't go with you. Doflamingo sat down on the blown up building and shook his head. I'll just do my job, are you sure? Sha En smiled very indifferently. It is up to him whether to go or not. Drought is nothing more than Kaido's cadres, you should know the name of the strongest creature, that's not a joke. If I go with you, I will definitely get into trouble with hundred beasts. The four emperors are very strong, so it's not worth it for me. Doflamingo didn't want to offend both sides. If Sha En didn't have such strong strength, he would have driven him away directly, but this is also a beast, so he can only explain the reason well. It also faintly shows that although you are very strong, Kaido is more ruthless. But seeing Sha En's complete indifference to these words, Brother Ming continued, isn't it just for public execution, calling Shichibukai to fill up the combat power to deal with the Whitebeard Pirates? And you are already so strong, do you still need me? Chat chat. 
Sha En frowned slightly when she heard the words, then she fell down gently and stood on the platform. That's a little distressing, Da Flamingo. Facing Da Flamingo's good words, Sha En shook his shoulders, thinking that he could only take you away by force. Da Flamingo's attitude made it difficult for Sha En to do anything. It would be great if this guy was a little more arrogant and domineering, and he would be smoother when he does it himself. However, Da Flamingo seemed to have a hard time, and he was afraid that Kaido's appearance of revenge would make Sha En suddenly unable to think of a way to take him away directly. After all, the only concern is that when he set off here to carry out the mission, Sengoku specifically asked him not to force Da Flamingo. Da Flamingo has a secret that the Celestial Dragons are afraid of, and he is the blood of the expelled Celestial Dragons. The situation is special, this is what the five elders specifically explained, so pay attention. These are the exact words of Marshal Sengoku. Naturally, Sha En knew that the so-called secret was the secret of the Celestial Dragon's national treasure, and the identity of the Celestial Dragons once made Marine a little afraid of him. Originally, this didn't have much to do with Sha En, but it was related to the mission. Who knows if it's considered to have completed the mission just to capture it back. Does Da Flamingo need to volunteer? So Sha En can only forcibly take Da Flamingo away when there is really no other way. And now it seems that there is no other way. Sha En planned not to give any of them time to react, and directly exploded with Kai Wang Fist, suppressed Da Flamingo, and flew away while holding it. But at this moment, suddenly, the voice of a phone bug rang out from Da Flamingo's body. Blue Blue, it's Kaido. Taking it out for a look, Da Flamingo involuntarily looked at the unconscious Jack below, and said to Zion. Sha En shrugged indifferently, you're such a maverick marine, if anyone else. If others would have justly condemned him, Da Flamingo didn't continue talking, and looked at Sha En meaningfully. Feeling helpless, he had no choice but to answer Kaido's call. Jack still can't get in touch with, what's up with the DLP Joker? The success rate of your products is really unsatisfactory. Can't you improve after so many years? It can be heard that Kaido seemed to contact Jack first, but of course he couldn't get through. How could Jack, who was all bombed and fuzzy, save the phone bug? And his tone seemed very dissatisfied. But the words didn't seem to instigate Jack to make trouble. Da Flamingo's expression was uncertain, and he was about to say something. Unexpectedly, Sha En snatched the phone bug. Zero. Ask for flowers. First and Marine Vice Admiral, Sha En. You are Kaido. I'm on Dressrosa Island. Come and fight. Since you are afraid of Kaido, let Kaido fight with yourself, let Da Flamingo accept the summoning order willingly, and there will be less twists and turns at that time. However, it was not Da Flamingo's reply, which surprised Kaido on the other end of the phone bug. After hearing Sha En's self-reported family name, he was even more confused and didn't react immediately. Marine Sha En, I seem to have heard of it somewhere. But this guy let himself go to fight. Kaido was a little confused. And Da Flamingo, Torebel, Pika, Granu, etc., after hearing what Sha En said to Kaido, their jaws would drop to the ground in shock. Brother, do you know who the person on the other side is? How presumptuous. Come here and fight. Although you are very strong, you are courting death. That's Kaido. Kaido, the strongest creature in the world. One of the four emperors of the sea. They were all shocked. Their pupils were shaking. They looked at Sha En in disbelief, and complained in their hearts in a daze. Is this the passion and fearlessness of young people? On the other hand, Kaido laughed exaggeratedly after a few seconds. Marine, Vice Admiral, ha 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 ha, it can be heard that Kaido on the opposite side is very disdainful, very disdainful. Not to mention Vice Admiral, even Admiral doesn't pay much attention, because they can't kill Kaido. Zero. However, Sha En's name was indeed very familiar, and Kaido, who hadn't turned his mind around, didn't remember it. But at this time, Jin who was beside Kaido reminded. Governor Kaido, Marine Sha En is the evil monster who has become famous in the sea recently, the new star of Marine, and the youngest Vice Admiral. The red-haired incident and the news circulating recently are all about him. Kaido stopped laughing when he heard it, and then remembered that he said he wanted to pay attention to this new marine star. So it was you, blocking the knife from the red hair made you feel that you can fight the four emperors. Kaido still didn't take it very seriously, and his tone was still dismissive. For him, even if the strength of these juniors can improve, how strong can they be? Will you be able to fight? You will know if you come and try it. Could it be that one of the four emperor's beasts are still afraid of me? Sha En chuckled and resorted to aggressive tactics. If you don't come, you're afraid of me. Hearing this, the people from the Don Quixote family behind covered their faces in horror. Ancestor, are you looking for death like this? Even though Da Flamingo is well informed, seeing Sha En's arrogance made his hands tremble in astonishment. He is indeed more afraid of Kaido, because he has seen Kaido's invincible strength. If you really want to recruit Kaido, take care of Sha En and not Duresaros. What kind of unequal conditions will you set for yourself then? Seeing Sha En's determined look, Da Flamingo hesitated again. Perhaps letting them resolve their own hesitations would be a good way to remove themselves from this dispute. No matter how you fight, I, Da Flamingo, am a victim. I can't help myself. When the time comes, I will have something to say in Marine, and Kaido will also have something to say. Just do it. In a short time, 
Doflamingo's mood changed, and he secretly decided to give it a try. After all, in this way, one's own interests will not be damaged too much, and there is no need to stand up. So when Kaido was about to scold Sha An angrily in disdain, he said to the phone bug, Governor Kaido, Sha An is a guy that even Beckman, Lakilu, Marco, and others can't take down together. Holding the phone bug, Sha An glanced at Doflamingo with a half smile. Kaido on the opposite side was also curious when he heard the words, huh. Beckman, they can't take you together. Kaido realized that he didn't even know some information. Hearing what Doflamingo said, it seemed that it was not as simple as just being stabbed by the red hair. Fire Fist Ace was brought back by him. He was blocked by the three captains of the Red Hair Pirates, Beckman, Rakiru, and Whitebeard. He fought a battle against Vice Admiral who successfully completed the escort mission. Zanjin. Are you really sure that you want to fight Governor Kaido? Doflamingo didn't care at all about the meaningful look on the corner of Shaw En's mouth. Shaw En didn't stop either. Kaido on the opposite side was surprised, but at this moment, his heart became interested. Chapter 57. The Marine Executives are confused. System task changes. Shaw En. Kaido. Definitely next time. Advertise here. Beckman, the most capable vice captain under the red-haired team, is a man who makes the three major boards admit that he is not an opponent. To put it simply, Kaido also knows very well that he is the closest for Emperor's man. And Phoenix Marco, Foil Vista and others, which one is not a difficult character. Shaw En can take away the Fire Fist Ace in their hands, which is enough to show the gold content of their strength. Kaido's interest is precisely because of this. And even Jin, Dacian and others beside him were surprised. This news, if it wasn't for the Joker, they wouldn't know it. Marine Shaw N actually still has this record, it seems that it really cannot be underestimated. I'll be waiting for you in Dresselos. You'd better hurry. Shaw N chuckled, and the voice reached the surprised Kaido and others. Wait, Marine is ready to suffer the loss, the loss of a monster genius must be very heartbreaking, right? Kaido became interested and had nothing important to do right now, so he immediately decided to fight Shaw N one on one. Snapped, Shaw N hung up the phone immediately after hearing it. Looking at Doflamingo with the same meaningful expression, he said, You are very well informed. Hey, hey, how can we do some business if we don't have good news? Doflamingo acted more relaxed in the face of Shaw En who was a marine, perhaps because of his celestial dragon's confidence. But he never dared to underestimate Shaw En. This guy actually dared to challenge Kaido one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if he is stupid or because he was young and frivolous. But this is also good, I have a chance to solve everything. Shaw En knew that the information about the Blackbeard transaction was blocked, and the outside world didn't even know about the four emperors, but Doflamingo, 120, knew that the explanation text was obtained by contacting the undercover Vigo Yu. I asked Kaido to play a game, and he has promised, if you agree, you must respond to Marine's summoning order, understand. Undercover Marine or something is not important to Shaw En, what is important is the task. Don't be ridiculous, fight against Kaido. It's good if you can live, but I have to admire your courage. In order to complete the task, you will not hesitate to provoke Kaido to fight. Don't listen to laugh, Kaido may already be angry medium fever, you're ending, hee hee. Doflamingo is not optimistic about Shaw En. Everyone present was not optimistic about Shaw En. No need to think about it, what kind of existence the four emperors are, and Shaw En is indeed very strong, but compared to the four emperors, it is not the slightest bit worse. I don't need to worry about this, you just need to agree. Shaw En said calmly, her gaze was on Doflamingo all the time. Feeling Shaw En's determination, Doflamingo could only nod helplessly. This young man seems to be very strong, and he really worked hard to complete the task. Shaw En didn't have much ink, and directly walked around the destroyed palace under the shocked and indescribable eyes of everyone, walked inside, and said, prepare me for food. It's as casual and unceremonious as it is your own territory. Doflamingo stared blankly, then waved his hands to get ready, while he looked at the unconscious Jack below, wondering what he was thinking. The matter looks very simple, Shaw En seems to really don't want to care about Doflamingo colluding with Kaido. But really, getting Doflamingo to answer the call is just the first thing. Now is the time when the top battle is about to start, and Shaw En doesn't want to waste energy. Most importantly, it's not too late to deal with the four emperors and artificial devil fruit after finishing these things. Maybe the last task was completed, and after telling Sengoku, the system will make up the task again, and I can come to complete the task again. How comfortable, to put it bluntly is to catch Doflamingo. So Shaw En simply stayed in the palace, which made a group of Don Quixote family members become cautious. After all, this guy is a fierce guy who can beat Jack to death with a lift of a finger. The next day, naval headquarters, in the spacious and bright conference room, Kazaru, Aokiji, and many vice admirals are among them. Sengoku is sitting at the top, and the adjutant standing beside him is reporting. Marshal Sengoku, Gekko Moria, Empress Hancock, Hawkeye Mahawk, and Tyrant Bear Shichibukai are all on their way and will arrive in Marineford soon. But Hexia Jinbei is still stubbornly resisting, refusing to fight against the Whitebeard Pirates, Sakazuki Admiral has personally gone out to go. Sengoku looked at the document in his hand, and nodded while listening to the report. 
But he didn't raise his head, as if he was still waiting for the adjutant to continue, but the adjutant had already stopped. Gone. Marshal, that's all for now. What about Sha En? Didn't he go to Dressrosa Island? Sengoku frowned slightly and asked. It stands to reason that at Sha En's speed, he already reached Dressrosa Island yesterday, right? Could it be something happened in the middle or Doflamingo? Sha En Vice Admiral, there has been no movement, and no news has been delivered. The adjutant flipped through the folder in his hand and said cautiously. I don't know. Sha En is Admiral's candidate, a genius that Marine focuses on training. Marshal Sengoku really cares about this young man. Won't he ask if he doesn't send a message? Sengoku said angrily, and immediately picked up the phone bug on the desktop, and dialed Sha En directly. Fortunately, Ping answered the phone without ringing. Marshal Sengoku, hearing that Sha En was safe and sound, Sengoku breathed a sigh of relief. Did this guy play in the capital of passion? But it's fine. What's going on? Sha En, is Doflamingo not cooperating? It's really incooperative, but I already have a countermeasure, just wait for someone to come. Sha En replied truthfully. Doflamingo has a special status, so it's really difficult to deal with. Huh, who are you waiting for? Sengoku thought that Sha En was deflated, and was trying to find a way to grind with Doflamingo. Wait, he said wait for someone to fix it. Well, the situation is a bit complicated. I originally wanted to report back when I go back. Let me make a long story short. I met Jack the Dro here, and Doflamingo was afraid that he would offend Kaido, so he didn't want to leave. So I'm waiting for Kaido to come and have a good chat. Quote. The so-called communication is the exchange of fists and feet. But Sengoku's phone bug is placed on the conference table, and everyone present can hear it. Waiting for Kaido to communicate. What kind of operation is this? Moreover, among the four emperors, the beasts are the only ones that are completely hostile to marine, and they are almost immortal forces. For a moment, the soldiers present were all shocked, and their faces changed drastically. No, Sengoku suddenly stood up excitedly, propped himself up, and shouted anxiously into the microphone, Sha En. Don't confront Kaido head on. Get out of Dressrosa Island. In the eyes of Marine, although Sha En's strength can reach the Admiral level, but if he really wants to face the four emperors, who can really rest assured? Whether it was Kazaru, Aokiji, or Marshal Sengoku, they were shocked when they heard that Sha En was going to confront Kaido head on. No way, Sha En, don't be reckless. All the soldiers sitting there became serious, and couldn't help being shocked by what Sha En had done. You boy, you are too courageous. Don't confront Kaido head on, the strength of the four emperors is not as simple as you think. Kazaru couldn't help leaning over, shouting reproachfully at the phone bug. Sha En didn't expect that the people on the opposite side cared so much about her, so she turned aside slightly. Everyone, please rest assured, I am sure. Sha En showed her composure and said nonchalantly. No, Sha En, come back before Kaido arrives. Kaido of the beasts, it's not as simple as you think, that guy's strength is terrifying. It's so scary that only a handful of people in naval headquarters are sure to fight against it. You are still young, there is no need to take such a big risk for the task of summoning Shichibukai. Sengoku took a deep breath to calm down the surprise just now, emphasizing how scary Kaido is. Marshal Sengoku, Sha En could hear Sengoku's seriousness. But I do have some confidence in facing Kaido, but I don't know how to explain my confidence to Kaido. You can go out to practice and complete tasks, but this level of threat is not what you should face now. Now your mission is cancelled, Doflamingo does not need to continue to recruit, you return to Marineford immediately. Sengoku suddenly thought that it might be because of the mission that Sha En took such a risk, so he decisively told Sha En that the mission was cancelled. Listening to the phone, Sha En felt a little helpless, thinking that this was the kindness of Sengoku and Kazaru, but she was a little too nervous. Even if you really can't beat him, with Suzano, you can easily leave with Wukong. So when he heard that Sengoku directly wanted to cancel the mission, Sha En still wanted to give it a try. After all, the tasks assigned by Marine are similar to the system tasks, the Marine tasks are not important, the system tasks are very important, and it is related to the growth of one's own strength. As a result, just as he was about to say something, the system prompt suddenly sounded. Ding, the mission has changed, the host can get 50% of the original reward if he returns directly to Marineford. Close black lens bracket. Okay, sure enough, it has a lot to do with it. If you cancel the mission here, you have to go back by yourself, and the system also directly changes the mission reward. However, Sha En is happy to get 50% rewards easily, and Marine, who is mainly opposite, is really concerned about her own safety. Changing the task, Sha En changed her tune and agreed decisively. Okay, Sengoku-san, I'll be right back. Sengoku, Kazaru, Aokiji and others breathed a sigh of relief after hearing this. As long as Sha En is not stubborn, it is better to avoid conflicts with Kaido than to summon a Doflamingo. But at this moment, a dragon chant came from the other end of the phone bug, which changed the expressions of everyone who had just relaxed. Sha En's voice was even louder, and she turned her head to look at the sky. I don't know when, the sky is already full of low clouds, and it's pitch black. At the same time as the lightning bursts, huge strip shadows loomed from the clouds. Sha En's eyes were fixed, 
holding the phone bug in his hand, his figure disappeared and landed on the top of the palace. At the same time, Da Flamingo and his cadres were all attracted by the sound of the dragon's roar, and they appeared one after another, looking up with a little fear. Dragon chant, cloud volume. The visitor is none other than the green dragon form capable user flying through the clouds and fog, Kaido of the beasts. The huge dragon head is as huge as half the palace, looking down on Dressrosa from the clouds. Kaido first saw Sha En on the top of the mountain palace, wearing a coat of justice, looking at him with calm eyes. Without going forward to talk to Sha En immediately, Kaido first shifted his sight to the pirate ship in Dressrosa port. It was Jack who had just woken up and was covered with scars, looking at him excitedly, and shouted with the members of the beast's pirates on the boat, Mr. Kaido. Lord, Jack is very excited, Master Kaido is really here, that Sha En will be finished soon. As a result, when Kaido saw the tragedy of the drought, he immediately snorted, trash. Immediately ignoring the drought below, Kaido circled to the palace, staring at Sha En with great interest. With a slight smile on the corner of Sha En's mouth, he looked at Kaido without any fear. The entire Dressrosa island is now exploded, and all the people are terrified to see the sudden dragon, trembling with fright, completely unaware of what happened. Under such a strange atmosphere, Da Flamingo felt terrified when he saw it. He originally wanted to show up to talk to Kaido, but suddenly stopped. Joker, we'll talk about it later. Quote. Kaido sensed Da Flamingo's breath, but he didn't care that he didn't come out to greet him. Instead, he smiled coldly at Sha En. Boy, I'm here, let's do it. Let me see what you can do. 5.6 After finishing speaking, a white mist of alcohol still spewed out of his nostrils, and the pirates below trembled with shock just by turning his copper bell-sized eyeballs slightly. The coercion of the strongest creature is like purgatory descending. Sha En was completely unaffected by Kaido's coercion, and the phone bug in his hand made a sound. What happened? Did Kaido come? Sha En. Yep, the call with Sengoku isn't over yet. Facing Kaido's question, Sha En shook her head. Don't fight Kaido. Next time, the fight is cancelled, I have to go back to naval headquarters. Raising her hand to signal the phone bug, Sha En said nonchalantly. It's like the huge creature in front of him is just an existence that comes and goes when he calls it. The cadres of the Don Quixote family, who originally planned to see how Sha En and Kaido singled out, and Da Flamingo himself froze in place for a moment. Immediately, a terrified expression appeared, and cold sweat broke out. He, what did he say? No, stop fighting. Replying Kaido like this really made everyone's brains a little bit down. That one is the four emperors, one of the strongest in the world, and the overlord who controls a large sea area. You made a fight with him, and he really came to play with, it turned out to be next time. Da Flamingo couldn't help taking a few steps back, and waved everyone out of the palace. Quick, go. What a joke. If Sha En does this, Kaido will be furious if he doesn't get angry. The dragon was hovering in the sky, and after hearing Sha En's words, Kaido was a little confused. What did you say? After a second of sluggishness, Kaido suddenly ran away. Chapter 58 New Mission Reward. 200%. This light cannon actually pierced through Kaido. Advertise here. Different from Shanks and Whitebeard's aura, Kaido's aura bursting out of rage is like hell. The terrifying power seemed to distort the air around the dragon's body, which was terrifying. Qinglong, who has the ability to control wind, cloud, thunder and lightning, became angry, and a violent wind flowed in an instant. Fortunately at this time, Da Flamingo's group, who saw the situation was not good, quickly evacuated, leaving the front where Kaido and Sha En were. Marines Sha En is dead. Such a scary Kaido. How dare he? Dover, what shall we do? There are factories down there. Torebel, Granu, and Pika all panicked, and they were still worrying constantly while they withdrew from the palace. To Da Flamingo's ears, his face was ugly. Factory. Who the hell still manages the factory? Kaido gets angry. Who knows what will happen? However, facing the fury of the giant beast, Sha En stood calmly on the top of the palace. But what follows is Kaido's huge mouth and the flames gathered in it. Another act of injuring Jack, destroying all beasts, clamoring again, and now humiliating himself. Kaido couldn't stand it at all, without saying a word, his momentum was rising, and his breath was brewing. Exploding toward Sha En, like a meteor-like fireball, the trailing flame tail looks like a flame ray. Hot interest. No matter where it is, Kaido has only one thought, and that is to make Sha En pay for offending him. Suzano. Facing a huge fireball, or a pillar of fire. Sha En calmly held the phone bug, without changing her posture, and spoke softly. Suzano, which is close to the color of the flame, is like a giant crawling out of the void. Almost taking shape when the heat came, Unreal's hands were crossed, and there was a loud bang. Flames erupted, illuminating the entire island of Dressrosa. The palace below Sha En suffered an impact, instantly cracked and collapsed. With such a huge momentum, Dover 06 Langmingo's group, as well as members of Jack and Beast's pirates at the port all stared in amazement. However, after the explosion, the flames and impact subsided. I saw Sha En floating in place with both feet in the air, and the posture of writing with both hands has not changed at all. 
The huge Suzano covered the body, there was no trace of attack on it, and it was unscathed, and it took Kaido's heat quite easily. Everyone was very surprised to see this. That guy's defense. Doflamingo and the cadres behind him watched this scene in amazement. It was different from the previous defense that blocked the poisonous gas. At that time, it looked like a humanoid rib. But now, it is a huge humanoid god of war. It even looks like it has armor. Sha En is protected by half an illusory orange-red body. The astonishing change really made people a little dumbfounded. The bandaged Jack and the members of the Beast's Pirates were even more horrified, and shouted, Master Kaido's heat was actually blocked by him. Even Kaido couldn't help being puzzled and surprised after Sha En showed Suzano's full face. Illusory giant, what is this thing? You kid is very resourceful. Being able to block his own heat shows that Sha En has some ability. No wonder that Beckman, Marco and the others failed to take it down, and let him take away the fire fist. At the same time, after Sha En picked up the heat from Kaido. Ding, Suzano was attacked by the flames of the mythical creature, the temperature was moderate, and she felt a burst of relief, improving by 10%. Close black lens bracket. No surprise Suzano's defense, but the improvement is 2M. Sha En remained calm on the surface, but complained in his heart. The newly evolved iron body can block the red-haired gods, and now it can block Kaido's heat, no pressure at all. I really don't have time to play with you, Kaido next time. Sha En muttered something, all she wanted now was to go back and finish this task. You can get 50% of the complete mission just by going back and forth, so what's so disgusting about it? As a result, I just plan to fly away without fighting Kaido. Suddenly, the system prompt sounded again. Ding, it is detected that the mission has changed again, continue the previous practice, defeat or draw with Kaido, you can get a mission reward of 200%. Close black lens bracket. Another change. 0.200%. Sha En couldn't help but her eyes lit up, and she began to get excited. 200%. Judging from the rewards obtained before, the increase is very large. Wouldn't it be cool to add 200%? Hey, Sha En, what's going on? Sengoku's voice came from the phone bug in his hand again. They were really worried, especially after the sound of the dragon roar appeared, but fortunately Sha En said to stop fighting, but a huge explosion sounded and Sengoku's heart was raised again. Through this shout, Sha En could be regarded as reacting, and hung up the phone bug in excitement. I can't answer the call from naval headquarters, otherwise my mission will change. 200% can't be gone. Who knows if there will be less, Sha En decisively put away the phone bug, looking directly at Kaido with fighting spirit, excitement, excitement and other emotions in his eyes. For a while, Kaido couldn't figure out what happened to Sha En in Suzano. He stopped fighting for a while, and was full of fighting spirit for a while, especially after receiving a blow from himself, he was still excited. However, Kaido had just arrived, and what Jin didn't know was that Jin had just hung up on naval headquarters. Sengoku, Kazaru, Aokiji and other marine executives had heard half of the voice, but Sha En's sudden hanging up of the phone immediately raised everyone's heart again, and they were all worried. It's Kaido. Kaido must have ruined the phone bug. The vice admirals yelled and guessed subjectively. It doesn't make sense that Sha En hung up the phone, right? In that case, even if he had to hang up, he would ask for support or give instructions. Only in sudden situations will the phone be disconnected directly. Sengoku, Granny Crane, and Kazaru obviously thought the same way, and they all became a little anxious. Especially worrying that Sha En will encounter misfortune in Kaido's hands. Kuzan, Pelusalino, the two of you set out immediately, rushed to support Sha En at the fastest speed. Even when the public execution was about to come, Sengoku gave the order without hesitation and dispatched two admirals at the same time. In his eyes, even if Marineford's defense is reduced to a dangerous level, Sha En cannot be in danger. The public execution of Ace is not as important as Sha En. Let's go. Kazaru and Aokiji also didn't talk nonsense, they simply got up and acted upon hearing the words. Grandma Crane looked at Sengoku who was frowning tightly, and reminded, with Sha En's current strength, even if he can't beat him, Kaido won't be able to manipulate him at will. I hope Admiral can make it in time. Hope so. Dressrosa Island. Giant dragons and illusory giants cross the sky. Seeing such an astonishing move, Kaido became really interested in Sha En, and his original anger subsided a lot. Interesting. What a funny kid. Did you rely on the defense of this move to receive the slash from the red hair before? Then let me see how far I can do it. Ha 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 ha. Surrounded by purple lightning, Kaido laughed out loud and turned into a human form, holding a mace. Thunder. Eight trigrams. An airburst. Kaido sprints through the air at top speed. Mace hockey winding. Thunder and lightning. The mace, which was bigger than Jack's body, used a move that was astonishingly powerful. In the eyes of everyone, it looked like a ferocious thunderbolt leaping into the air. In the blink of an eye, it smashed hard on the giant Mano's grande phantom in front of Sha En. Sha En's expression was calm, and she didn't panic at all even in the face of the Thunder 8 trigrams she had known for a long time. The moment it comes into contact with Suzano begins, the sound of a bang. The shock brought by the powerful force makes the air dangerous, and the lightning bolts of Thunder 8 trigrams can be seen spreading across the surface of Suzano. 
This guy's defense. But at this time, Kaido looked at Suzano who was attacked, but showed a surprised expression. Thunder 8 trigrams didn't shake Suzano. It was like knocking on a mountain of iron. Sha En stood there as firm as a mountain, only the slight shock transmitted from the impact. There is no trace on the surface of Suzano, only the place in contact with the mace is brighter and brighter. What is your move? Holding Bajai tightly, Kaido felt that he could not pose a threat to Sha En at all, so he stepped back quickly and asked curiously. Iron body. Sha En smiled slightly, and said the name that left everyone present speechless. The Doflamingo group and the beast's pirates were already in shock, but they were even more amazed when they saw that Sha En could easily block Kaido. But this guy actually said it was iron body. That illusory giant, how can it match up with Marine's six style iron body? Torebel couldn't help complaining loudly. This is the defensive move to block the red-haired magic. Now it's Kaido's Thunder 8 trigrams. So he said Iron Body is Iron Body. Don't forget that laser was finger pistol. Diamante and the others spoke out one after another. This kind of scene is really rare. Marine Sha N. The strength is really so strong. Doflamingo stared at the battlefield above with some confusion. Kaido also laughed loudly at this time, as if he didn't take his ineffective Thunder 8 trigrams to heart, and shouted at Sha N. Very good. Very good, Marine, a little level. Huh, what? Sha En didn't want to stand up and let Kaido hit him. Seeing him laughing so wildly, his backhand was a killing cannon of magic light. The azure light beams shine with astonishing power. Kaido's laughter stopped abruptly, he felt the extraordinary power of the magic gun, and at the same time, it seemed that it was too late to dodge at such a short distance. Of course, as the strongest creature, Duo didn't bother to dodge. Break lousy. Dissatisfied with the spiked mace, lightning flashed out, hockey entangled, and Kaido slammed down towards the beam. But the result is that Kaido, who didn't use any moves, just wanted to stop the magic light cannon with his weapons and strength, underestimated its power. The moment it hit the light beam, amidst the hissing sound, the mace was deflected by the huge inertial impact and did not stop. It was not the same as Kaido's imagined smashing explosion, the orbit of the light beam had some deviations due to the huge force, but it still went towards Kaido. Just for a moment, woo. The magic light cannon passed over Kaido's waist, bringing with it splashes of blood. Then it shot into the sea far away, blasting several feet of waves. Bleeding. 543, a casual beam attack made me bleed. Kaido was stunned, looking at the bloody streak on his old waist in disbelief. And below, all the people watching the battle with their heads up opened their mouths, they were very surprised and shocked. He he. Kaido was injured by the attack. That guy, what kind of monster? Although it is very strong, it is Kaido. The strongest creature. Dover, Dover, what the hell is Sha En from Marine? Torebel and the others screamed and were very shocked. From their point of view, Sha En's light beam was originally aimed at Kaido's chest, but the stick went sideways and rubbed against Kaido's chest. Passed. But what about Kaido? He was wounded and bleeding. Even if it's just a small scar. For those who know Kaido's physical strength, it's amazing, and it shows how powerful Zanjin's finger pistol is. At this time, a system prompt sounded in Sha En's mind. Ding, Mo Guang Guang Sha Pao licked a lot of blood, and gradually became excited, an improvement of 10%. Close black lens bracket. Sha En, who was standing in Suzano, looked at the explosion in the distance, but sighed, as expected of Kaido, this group of physical defense is indeed fierce. Others couldn't see it, but it was very clear why his magic light killing cannon hit him. Originally, it was caused by Kaido to deflect, and it was intended to penetrate directly through his waist and abdomen. As a result, the powerful physical body was extremely tough, and it did not penetrate directly. Yuxia seemed to have rebounded and shifted, but only wiped out blood. This also shows that his normal version of the magic light cannon is still slightly insufficient for the level of four emperors. Kaido's physical body can guard against it, so the red hair will definitely be able to cut flying, let alone Big Mom, Whitebeard, the power is still not threatening enough, and more improvements are needed. At this time, Kaido, who was getting excited gradually, was even more excited now. Amazing to make me bleed. Kaido, who laughed wildly, caused the air current to howl, and his solid posture was very frightening. The clouds in the sky resounded with thunder, and the purple lightning flashed. Seeing this scene, Sha En knew that Zi Lei was because of Kaido's ability. Sure enough, a thigh-thick purple thunder fell from the low clouds and hit the mace in Kaido's hand. Immediately, Kaido yelled, King Sansei, Yin Naraku. With a bang, the unusually strong body hit Zhang En in Suzano like a cannonball. The crackling lightning on the mace is the terrifying power of armament hockey, conqueror's hockey double coverage. Well done. This is no less than the attack of the sword god, Sha En's eyes were fixed, and Suzano put on a defensive posture. Chapter 59 Can't Break Each Other's Defense. Kai Wang Fist Launched. Advertise here. Kaido's mace draws a trajectory in the air, which is very spectacular. The air forms a shock wave at this level of force. The next moment, Zhang Sanshi Yinaruo slammed hard on Suzano's crossed phantom arms. It was as if the surrounding atmosphere was shaking violently. The buildings below were instantly destroyed by the invisible impact, shattered and exploded. During the confrontation between the two, 
Kaido yelled vigorously and used a more powerful force zone. In the creaking sound. Finally, the two arms in front of Suzano's defense were blasted with cracks, and the cracks spread along the arms. Sha En's eyes were serious, but she didn't panic, and the corners of her mouth curled up slightly. Suzano's defense was not more than ten days ago. But I have to say that Kaido's Yin Naraku is quite powerful, and can break the current Suzano, which is worthy of the name of the strongest creature. It's so tough. Kaido withdrew his momentum and retreated, his eyes were also a little surprised. He didn't break the defense with such a powerful blow. This guy's moves are really extraordinary, at least he has never encountered such a strong attack until now. Degree. But what surprised him even more was yet to come. When the cracked Suzano retreated, the cracks all over the illusory body began to recover rapidly. The lines that look like they are about to crack are visible to the naked eye. In a few breaths, it has already returned to its original state. This, this is too strong. Kaido's powerful move hits the crack, and it's back. After Torebel, Pika and the others saw it, their eyeballs all popped out. I originally thought that the giant Mano's grande phantom body covered by Sha En's surface would definitely not be able to withstand Kaido's multiple attacks, but it should be able to tell the winner. Comparing the defenseless Sha En with Kaido's physique, it is clear at a glance which one is stronger and weaker. But in a blink of an eye, the orange-red illusory giant recovered as if it had never been attacked. What the hell is going on with this trick? The defense is incredible. Doflamingo was even more amazed, and his heart couldn't help but start to waver. Kaido's attack was entwined with Conqueror's hockey. He saw it very clearly. The destructive power was so amazing that it didn't directly break through. It can be seen how hard Zanjin's defense is. Perhaps, Sha En will not be defeated by Kaido today. It has to be said that after a few simple moves, Doflamingo saw the unimaginable power hidden in Sha En, and he didn't see any worry or panic on his face until now. Sha En he is very calm. At this time, the battle continues. Kaido, who failed to succeed with one blow, grinned ferociously, holding the mace vigorously in his arms, his eyes flickered fiercely, as if he was thinking about how to break Sha En's tortoise shell. However, when Sha En raised his hand, he fired a magic light cannon, and the blue beam burst out. Blast towards Kaido who was stepping on the flame cloud. Having already tried the power of the magic light cannon, Kaido knew that he could not completely resist it, and a little red light flashed in his eyes. Observation Hockey foreseeing the future. The place Sha En aimed at was still his chest. The next moment, his figure was almost blurred, and he easily dodged when the magic gun came. The beam of light fell into the wall behind the palace, and the powerful flame burst out, blasting a big hole. At the same time, Kaido who moved out took advantage of the situation to bully him, came to Suzano, and smashed down the mace hard. Bang! Sporadic light spots and lightning burst. Suzano blocked Kaido's attack steadily, and Kaido didn't stop at all, and almost instantly dropped another stick. Boom! Come again! One stick after another, the strong attacks continued to fall. In terms of physique and instinctive reaction, Sha En is indeed a little worse than Kaido. Under the explosive onslaught, Kaido failed to be hit by two consecutive magic guns. After all, the beam of the magic light cannon will not turn, even if Sha En can capture Kaido's figure under the visual dynamics, it cannot be locked. This point is a bit distressing. So, Kaido was slamming Suzano, dodging from time to time, while Sha En was in Suzano, raising her finger, and the magic light cannon fired bursts of attacks. The aftermath of the confrontation between the two caused the entire mountain palace to continue to collapse, causing Doflamingo to be black-faced. You know, it won't be good to provoke Kaido's own territory. Both are saboteurs in battle. Not to mention how strong Kaido is, just the light beam that Sha En hits can cause a terrifying explosion, which is extremely terrifying. But now, Doflamingo doesn't think too much about his own palace. In Kaido's wild mace attack, Sha En's Suzano started from the first crack, and was continuously smashed into more and more cracks. Four emperors are really hard to deal with. Quote, Sha En is also constantly aiming at Kaido, but this guy is huge, but he is also slippery and hard to hit. Fortunately, Suzano's current strength is amazing, and she can recover quickly after being smashed with so many cracks, and the time will not be directly broken by Kaido. No, the sky is my home field, and I can't stand still when fighting the four emperors. The next moment, Sha En came to her senses and said yes to herself angrily. All the battles have benefited from the strength of skills, but they have not used more skills. For example, if you fight Blackbeard or Beckman, they are all incarnations of human-shaped forts, but facing the power of the four emperors, they seem a little dull. Thinking of this, Sha En's raised finger did not continue to release the magic gun light killing cannon, but had a thought. Orange Red Suzano slams Kaido with a cracked arm. Apparently, Kaido didn't expect that the defending illusory giant could still launch an attack. Knowing that Sha En was a bit weird, Kaido didn't choose to fight hard. Instead, he turned around and opened some distance, but his eyes were on the cracked Suzano. He was very satisfied with the attack. As long as he worked harder, the defense would be broken, and Sha En would have nowhere to escape. As a result, at this moment, Sha En directly soared into the air and flew towards a higher altitude. Quote exclamation mark question mark quote. Seeing this, Kaido thought Sha En was going to run away, so he stepped on the flame cloud and flew into the air to stop him. 
Call out. What greeted him was Sha En's back-to-back -back record magic gun light-killing cannon. Kaido's eyes changed, and he moved his body to avoid it. At the same time, he also found that Sha En did not continue to pull up, and the illusory orange-red giant almost recovered in this gap. Run. Just started. Much. Sha En replied blankly. Afterwards, Suzano clenched her hands into fists, flew towards Kaido at a close distance, and quickly smashed it. Fist wind howling. This is the first time Sha En uses Suzano to launch an attack. Jundali Long Shungjin. Kaido let out a roar, and instantly waved a mace to take a photo of Enza. The booming sound continued to spread throughout Dressrosa Island. Whether it's an imaginary giant swinging his fist, or Sha En's, finger pistol, from time to time. Our Kaido conquerors entangled various attacks, the two sides fought fiercely, fighting back and forth, very lively. Jundali Longshunjin confronted Suzano's fists, and it was obvious that Sha En lost the upper hand. In the continuous fierce collision, the orange-red phantom arm completely shattered, and then quickly recovered, and so on. Facing Sha En's magical light-killing cannon, Kaido was annoyed in his heart, opened his mouth directly, and launched the, hot breath, in the form of a human body. The two were in a continuous fierce conflict, which is also mixed with the confrontation of beams of fire. The scene was extremely terrifying, and the aftermath waved in waves in all directions. Doflamingo, Torebel, Pika, Granos and other people, as well as Jack, members of the Beast's pirates were shocked. Scary Marine Nova, to be able to fight Kaido of the Beasts to this extent. Dover, it's a good thing we weren't impulsive. Torebel couldn't help but raised his trembling arm and patted his chest. Scary, if I helped Jack at that time, wouldn't everyone be beaten to the ground by him? What are you afraid of? You see that he has already lost the wind, and the illusory giant defending him has been interrupted. Senor didn't know what was missing from the pacifier he was biting on. After marveling, he considered the battle situation and said. Indeed, Sha En now looks like she is completely overwhelmed by Kaido. The light beam is blocked by the heat, and the knowledgeable Kaido can catch the magic light killing cannon of normal strength. In the fierce confrontation, Sha En's illusory giant broke his hand first, but Kaido has the momentum of fighting more and more courageously. That's for sure, he must be the emperor of the sea. The strongest man in the world. That Sha En is probably doomed today. He angered Kaido many times and beat Jack seriously. At least he will be beaten like that by Kaido. Keep watching, Marine's genius should not be defeated by Kaido so quickly. The little girl Granos, Gladius, Ola G, Buffalo and other cadres were also discussing, but they were not as shocked as before and speechless. And looking at the current battle situation, everyone is not optimistic about Sha En. On the contrary, Doflamingo stood on the ruins of the palace with a dignified face, watching intently. Don't say they didn't like Sha En when they watched the game. At this time, Kaido also showed a sneer. Marine's genius is just going back and forth a few times, can't you even control the illusory giant on your body? Ha 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 ha. With the process of adaptation, Kaido became more and more comfortable dealing with Sha En's magical light killing cannon and the counterattack of the illusory giant, and began to taunt under the onslaught. Sha En's figure drives Suzano to twirl in the air, recover, attack, break, and use the magic gloss cannon. It is indeed a bit monotonous, and it is not enough in use, Sha En is reflecting, and the combat experience is constantly improving. After hearing Kaido's ridicule, he frowned slightly. Are you bored? Then you have to be prepared, don't be beaten by me. Seeing this, Sha En has no hesitation, and decisively uses Kaiwang Fist. Only in the state of Kaiwangquan can one's own strength continue to break through the upper limit. A strong wave appeared, Kaido didn't speak hard when he heard this, his eyes changed, and he took the lead to stop the attack and distance himself. Because at this time, the aura on Sha En's body made him feel something was wrong, too strong. The air, no, the atmosphere is shaking. Even the island below had an earthquake. Although the magnitude was not large, everyone could tell that it was caused by Sha En. His aura continued to soar, and even his hair stood on end by the invisible aura. The bursts of turbulent fluctuations together with the shock of momentum formed a storm-like sweep. This kid, what's going on? Kaido looked at Sha En's change in amazement, his eyes fixed. But as the four emperors, the arrogant Kaido did not choose to interfere with Sha En. But then, a circle of arrogance burst out from Sha En's body visible to the naked eye. A faint white. It is like materializing the aura of Sha En's body. And the change in himself is even more astonishing. It has been improved, the aura and strength of the whole person have been improved. Boy, what kind of move is this? Kaido's eyes were cloudy and uncertain, and he couldn't understand what happened to Sha En at all. The illusory giant is still there, but Sha En's burst of arrogance makes people ignore the illusory giant. It seemed that only the young man opposite was left in his eyes. It's a very wrong feeling. So Kaido was very surprised. And everyone in the Don Quixote family below felt a heavy sense of oppression, which was truly embodied in the body. Those who are not strong enough, such as Granu, were a little breathless after being shocked by the coercion of Sha En's unleashing of the World King Fist. Saroni and others, Nuo Lihao, broke out in a cold sweat and called out, What is this? His momentum has materialized. The momentum is even stronger than Kaido. 
The change was so amazing that the members of the Don Quixote family couldn't help swallowing their throats. He seems to have used moves that he has never seen before. His strength has improved a lot. Da Flamingo looked at this astonishing change with serious eyes. A move that improves strength, never seen before. And it will also be imposing. Whether it is a pirate or a marine, there has never been such a move. Kaido stepped on the flame cloud, looked back and forth at Sha En with suspicious eyes, not saying that he was afraid, but he had a very bad premonition. The current Sha En is probably not at the same level as before. This is just the beginning, Kaido. Sha En flexed her wrist and let out a breath, enjoying the improvement very much. Then let me try, how confident you are. Kaido snorted coldly, maintaining that sarcastically ugly smile. Immediately a thrust, the whole person was instantly blurred, and when she reappeared, she was already in front of Suzano, wanting to smash her out of the crack just like before. But at this moment, Sha En didn't make Suzano move at all. Watching Suzano as if puffing out her chest, greets Kaido with the black and red hockey mace. Boom. Sizzling hockey lightning burst, the powerful force rolled the stronger wind, and the low clouds were blown away. During the continuous onslaught, Kaido's eyes changed drastically as he felt the touch and the motionless phantom giant in front of him, and he retreated unbelievably fast. I thought in horror. Its defense has also been greatly improved. The attack that worked before could not even make a crack this time. Even Sha En inside didn't even move, his eyes were silent. Chapter 60 Kaido invites Sha En. Fight breakthrough. Advertise here. In the form of Kai Wang Fist, Suzano has also been greatly increased. If it is still the previous attack power, it will naturally not be a threat. Kaido was amazed and stared at Sha En who was in Kai Wang Kwan state. And at this moment, Sha En raised her finger, and a ray of light that was close to pure white lit up. The magic light killing cannon under Kai Wang's fist has almost reached the limit of convergence, making Kaido feel glaring when looking at it. Snort. Although it seems to be stronger than the previous magic light cannon, Kaido doesn't take it seriously, and is confident in avoiding Sha En's attack in the knowledgeable premonition. However, when the beam bursts and comes straight, Kaido does foresee the trajectory. But what I didn't expect was that the arm-thick beam was so fast that it was unimaginable. Obviously, he had already spied the trajectory of the light beam, but at this distance, Kaido found that he had no chance to dodge at all. The body that is stepping on the flame cloud is already avoiding sideways, and the light is already in front of him. Even the sideways posture can't avoid the magic light cannon under Kai Wang's fist. In the next moment, Chudong was the wolf's bombardment. The powerful physical body prevented Kaido from being pierced by Sha En, but under the strong flames, the whole figure flew into the distance like a kite with a broken string. The corners of Sha En's mouth curled up, and he was not surprised by his magical light killing cannon. After exceeding 100%, the magic penetrating light killing cannon has undergone a qualitative change. Compared with the original magic penetrating light killing cannon, it is brighter, especially under the blessing of the Kaiwankwan, the attack speed is so fast that it is very amazing degree. To the Doflamingo gang and the beast's pirates watching below, it was a pretty shocking scene. Almost in the blink of an eye, just as Kaido finished his attack, he was hit hard by a beam from Sha En, the flames engulfed Kaido, and then flew out. After finally stabilizing his figure in midair, Kaido stared at Sha En with some horror, his chest could be seen torn apart, and scarlet blood poured out. It was even more terrifying than the damage caused last time. Afterwards, Kaido, who stepped on the flame cloud and stabilized his figure, moved his chest and spit out a mouthful of blood. He vomited blood, armed color, hockey. Kaido wiped it with his hand, and there was a crazy excitement in the complicated eyes. Especially for the high-level armament hockey, the penetration damage of 997 not only exploded his chest, but also caused the internal damage to vomit blood. As the four emperors, how many years has he not experienced such a battle? After being caught and executed, he didn't break his defenses, but now, being beaten by Marine's new star, he vomited blood. Marine boy, you are very good, you actually have such a high-level armed color in the beam. No, it must be related to your current state. The momentum is materialized, the defense is increased, and the attack is increased. What kind of move is this? Immediately, Kaido couldn't help but question Sha En loudly, very curious. Zone's human beast form is not as improved as the current Sha En, which shows that it is rare, and it is no wonder that Kaido is very curious. It's okay to tell you, the one who defeated you was Kaioken. The move I learned from Armament Hockey. Sha En clenched her fist and grinned. Today's confrontation can be regarded as the first time I have lightened my muscles with the four emperors, and there is no need to hide the moves. Kaioken. A move learned from Armament Hockey. Kaido was surprised when he heard this, and was a little dazed for a while. The use of it has been around since ancient times, from entangling chi to internal destruction, it can be said that it has been developed almost, how can you still comprehend this kind of move? As he spoke, he couldn't help observing Sha En's state with serious eyes. I don't know if I haven't noticed it yet, but if I look carefully, I'm even more surprised. Hockey. It's all about hockey. This is too outrageous. The surprise that Sha En brought him was too great. At the same time, the people watching the battle below saw that Kaido was traumatized and even vomited blood, and they couldn't help trembling. 
Who would have thought that Kaido, the strongest creature, would be injured to such an extent by Sha An? Then Kaido asked a question, and Sha An replied that it was a move comprehended by the armed color, and each one was even more unbelievable. Are you kidding me? This thing doesn't even work with armed colored furs. That's right, the aura of materialization. Can you comprehend these in the armed color? Kai Wang fist sounds like boxing. But this Sha An is really perverted, even the picture is bleeding on his hand. Pika, Ola Ji and the others couldn't help but complain in amazement. Agdi, Wa how is this guy? The aura that materializes is full of armament hockey, he's completely in the state of full hockey, always activated. Doflamingo smiled lowly, his eyes under the sunglasses were full of shock. From his vision and strength, he could tell that Sha An was in a strong state at this time. He thought that if it was him, he might not be able to withstand Sha An's strength. But Kaido can't be defeated easily, even if the flesh and blood on his chest exploded and he vomited blood, he also knows that the zone fruit ability user has pervert recovery power. Good, you really deserve to be the legendary talent in Marine's rumors. Attack and defense comprehended from the six styles, and even created moves that I am coveted from the armed color. Kaido touched the wound on his chest with his hands, but he still laughed out loud, and praised Sha An. Marine Sha An, I agree. This kind of strength has already touched the threshold of four emperors, and is at the level of admiral. Most people think so. Being recognized by the four emperors made the Don Quixote group below look slightly moved. Sha An is indeed qualified, but everyone didn't know that Kaido stopped fighting, why did he say all of a sudden? Hearing Kaido admit his strength and express his approval, Sha An didn't have any mood swings, and looked at Kaido indifferently, without saying a word. Don't look at Kaido's five big and three rough, Sha An actually knows that he is a master who is quite scheming and dares to kill and fight, but it is not something to be happy when a four emperors praises him. So under Sha An's plain gaze, Kaido put on a proud look and said, join the beast's pirates. It's a waste of you to be in marine, and let that group of trash ride on your head. Beasts are your destination, let us accomplish the feat together. As long as you join, you will be the deputy captain under me. Kaido directly threw an olive branch, and even drew a pie that surprised everyone present. Beasts pirates only have three big boards, but no deputy captain. You must know that among the four pirate groups of the emperors, only the red hair pirates has Beckman as the vice captain, but now, Kaido recognizes Sha An, and even wants him to be the vice captain of beasts. Sha An was slightly surprised. Actually invited himself to join hundred beasts. I have to say that Kaido can really think about it. However, he is in the state of Kaiwankwan, consuming a lot of physical strength. Then let's talk about it when you can defeat me. Say it. Sha An is no longer ink, take the initiative to attack. Suzano, who was opening Kaiwang fist, stretched out her arms and clenched into a fist, and slammed down on Kaido. The roaring fist hit a raging wind, Kaido roared, and a dragon tail stretched out from behind quickly. The body even grows towering dragon horns, covered with dragon scales. At this moment, Kaido didn't have the slightest carelessness, and transformed into a human beast form. Sha En controlled Suzano to punch down, seeing the many changing forms without any surprise. Immediately, the fist and mace collided fiercely. The impact of power blows the violent hurricane around, and the people watching the battle below can even see the impact in a circle with the naked eye, and they are stunned. Fight! Breakthrough! In a one-shot confrontation, the two sides are evenly matched. You must know that Sha En Suzano can also attack, but there are no more functions brought by Sharingan but just smashing it with your hands is no less powerful than the admiral level. Sensing Sha En's difficulty, Kaido spun the mace with his backhand, and a move of, Yin Naraku, crashed down. The black lightning was densely covered, and amidst the crackling sound, it hit Suzano's arm hard. At the same time, Sha En used Wukong to advance continuously, and her mind controlled Suzano to raise her hand to block, and she raised her hand to kill the cannon with a single blow. A huge flame exploded, Kaido foresaw the trajectory of the magic gun light killing cannon, and he still couldn't completely dodge it in the dragon man form, his strong arms were blown to pieces. Under the burst of energy, he was even pushed into the air. Sha En didn't feel happy because of this, but looked at Kaido solemnly. The strongest creature, this body is really strong enough. He was hit by two magic guns, but the blood flow stopped after a while, and the injury is still recovering quickly. You must know that after Jack the Drow was hit by the magic gun, he still hasn't recovered from his injuries. How terrifying it is to have an extra body. Ghost clan plus Qinglong, it can be called pervert. I really want to take you under my command more and more. Looking at the scars on his hands, Kaido smiled lowly. Then he actually took out the wine gourd and poured it into his mouth. Are you going to activate wine dragon 8 trigrams? Sha En thought to himself, she didn't stop Kaido's action, but was very interested. This shows that Kaido has realized that his strength is very tricky, and he cannot defeat himself in a normal combat state, so he chooses to increase his combat power and use a big move. Belch. Kaido's face turned red when the alcohol hit his head, and he swayed on the flame cloud with a mace in his hand. Next, I can beat you. Drunken excitement. Kaido grinned, sprinted out with a bang, and headed straight for Sha En. Sha En just wanted to raise his hand to use the magic light cannon to snipe, but Kaido's speed was as fast as ultimate, and he came to Suzano's head in a blink of an eye. 
Roar Thunder ate trigrams. The mace swung down and hit Susanohe on the head of Unreal. Under the state of drunkenness, Kaido's attack obviously went to a higher level, and Sha En could feel the shock of power coming from inside Suzano. The four emperors are indeed monsters. The magic light killing cannon came out immediately, and the almost pure white beam was facing Kaido's facade. Kaido suddenly let out a strange cry, and the flames spewed out of his open mouth in an instant. It's a well-prepared, hot interest. The attack power of Sha En's finger pistol is simply unreasonable. Kaido also knows that he has relatively few attack methods, so he wants to use the heat to interrupt the beam in advance and let it explode as before. It's a pity that Kaido failed to fulfill his wish this time. The power of the heat breath in the dragon form is not diminished, but it is penetrated by the beam in an instant, and it goes straight to Kaido with an indomitable penetrating power. Kaido's eyes widened and he tried his best to dodge, but the light flashed by, and the dragon horn on his head was directly shattered by Sha En's blow. The Mogon light killing cannon swept towards the distant sky, and after a few clouds, the flames lit up, and the powerful power dispersed a large swath of low clouds. Hateful. Feel the heat on your scalp, Kaido. Turning from embarrassment into anger, he suddenly entered into a drunken rage, his eyes blazing. Lightning after drinking. Yin Naraku. The purple thunder flashed, and the bucket-thick lightning fell into Kaido's mace, and soon there was only a black shadow left, heading straight for Sha En. Sha En's disadvantage is that observation hockey is not enough. The armed color has evolved into Kaiwankwan, but the knowledge color is still in the repair stage, coupled with the gap in physical fitness, it is still a little insufficient to fight Kaido. When Kaido, who was in full combat power, exploded with speed, Sha En's sense of knowledge foresaw it, but his own reaction speed was still a bit short. For example, at this time, Kaido seems to be teleporting, holding a black lightning mace in front of him, and he can only react synchronously, but cannot achieve a perfect reaction. Yin Naraku in the drunk state has even more powerful power. The entangled conqueror's hockey seemed to be impacted by a huge meteor, and with a bang, Suzano burst apart in a black lightning burst. Wine Dragon, 8 trigrams. Kaido's eyes lit up, his figure was blurred in place, and he fell down again in the air. The dragging hockey lightning is pouring like sea water. Seeing this, Sha En couldn't help exclaiming, what a strong hockey. The amount of hockey in Kaido is simply beyond imagination. But Sha En is not unresponsive, the strength of Kai Wang Fist is not a vegetarian, Wu Kongshu raises the position, and he does not hesitate to control Suzano to counterattack and punch back. In the state of Kai Wang Fist, any attack he makes will contain various effects of armed color. The offensive of the two was like planets colliding, and the sudden strong shock wave centered on the collision and spread crazily. The people watching the battle below seemed to attract a terrifying hurricane, and the weaker people couldn't even lift their heads, and were severely suppressed by the aftermath. I still underestimated him, to be able to fight Kaido to this extent. As if the atmosphere was trembling, Da Flamingo looked shocked. Before he had time to see the result of this duel, Kaido shouted in the next second, Long Shengjin. Countless huge maces appeared in the sky and smashed towards Sha En. At the same time, a red glow flashed in Sha En's eyes, and the arrogance on her body soared out of thin air. Suzano, which was already full of cracks, stretched out three heads and six arms, and waved six giant fists, and fought fiercely with Kaido. Every blow sent out a violent vibration, and every blow caused the aftermath of power, even affecting the buildings and mountains of Dressrosa Island. Chapter 61 The Recovery of the Kato Bug Class. Dead Door. Open. Night Guy. Advertise here. Everyone felt unparalleled shock and trembling for this battle. Too strong. A battle at the Four Emperor's level is simply a natural disaster. It is completely impossible to imagine how the island will be destroyed if it is on the ground. Da Flamingo raised his eyes, his pupils trembling, but he could also see that Sha En was still slightly at a disadvantage in the fierce confrontation at this time. Because the fissures on that illusory giant's body became brighter and denser. If you don't admit defeat, you will suffer enough. Ha ha ha. Kaido was very excited to see Sha En's defense smashed like this. The illusory giant in front of him was on the verge of being broken. In this fierce fight, Sha En also aroused the feeling of fighting enthusiasm, full of fighting spirit. Kaido felt that it was time to break Sha En's defense that was on the verge of collapse and make him give up completely. The rolling clouds in the sky frequently, shone with thunder. A bucket-thick purple lightning crashed down and merged with Kaido's mace. ZZZ. David. Thunder 8 trigrams. The conqueror's hockey is extremely powerful, and Kaido's face is ferocious, his arm muscles are surging, he twists his body and falls fiercely towards Suzano. In an instant, the black and red hockey lightning spread across Suzano's body, and it was so powerful that it exploded wantonly at this moment. Suzano's crack was finally unbearable, and it crumbled and fell like shattered glass. It reveals Yuan En who has solemn eyes and frowns. In the state of King Fist, Sha En is not worried about the remaining aftermath, the mighty impact of Da Wei De Lei Ming 8 trigrams already can't cause any damage. And the arrogance of those hockey lightnings touching the Kai Wang Fist was instantly wiped out. As expected of Kaido of the Beasts, this is the third time Suzano has been broken after Garp, after the red hair, still in the form of Kaioken. Sha En has never been careless, and has estimated her own strength more clearly after the battle. 
But at this time, if Suzano is broken and her body is exposed, she really doesn't have much chance of winning against Kaido. Ha 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 ha. Kaido laughed excitedly, and finally broke the strange illusory giant, and the next one was Sha En's body. Immediately, his hands tightened, and he resolutely charged towards Sha En. Snatch thunder after drinking, thunder eight trigrams. Kaido wants to defeat Sha En in one fell swoop, and then bring Sha En back. It doesn't matter if you don't accept it now, as long as you take it back to Ghost Island and attack slowly, Kaido still has the confidence to take Sha En under his command. However, at this time Sha En was dignified, but she didn't panic at all. Faced with Kaido's critical attack, he suddenly smiled. Suzano. Open again. Kaido never thought that he was about to attack Sha En, but the orange-red light lit up, and a bad feeling came to his mind, and then his offensive stopped abruptly, and the familiar sense of solidity came over him. Unexpectedly, it hit the illusory giant again. The berserk power raged, and Kaido couldn't help being stunned, extremely astonished. How did you summon this thing again so quickly? What is going on with this move, is there no limit? It took a long time to break it, but Sha En popped out again. Sha En smiled without saying a word. Tell you what your moves are, do you still have to tell you that all my skills have no CD? Physical strength is the blue bar. As long as you have physical strength, all moves can be repeated without intervals. That's the power of the system. You should think about how to accept the reality of being defeated by me. Sha En sneered. In the next second, Suzano's arm directly sent Kaido flying. With a bang, Kaido, who was in shock, was slapped a long distance away, and after reacting, his anger surged straight up. As a result, at this time, Kaido couldn't help but his expression changed dramatically. Sha En raised her finger, and Suzano, who was shrouded outside her body, also raised her finger. When the light of the Mogon light killing cannon lights up, Susanohe's fingers also light up. This guy can use the finger pistol attack like this. No wonder Kaido was taken aback and his expression changed drastically. They knew that the bigger the body, the greater the power, so they didn't dare to relax at all, and gave up the idea of rushing over. Kaido concentrated his knowledge and prepared to dodge at any time. Unexpectedly, when the beam larger than a person exploded, Kaido was still the same as before, and it was too late to dodge. The power of the Mogon light cannon is stronger, and it hits Kaido directly with a bang. A huge flame lit up in midair, illuminating the entire Dressrosa island, accompanied by howling typhoons and surging waves. Kaido's original injuries were almost healed, but now he was bombarded with blood all over his body, and the scorching damage ravaged his entire body. Unable to resist, he flew backwards, and at the same time, a mouthful of blood was stuck in his throat, and he held back deeply without spitting it out. Hateful, the more he fought, the more angry Kaido roared, and rushed out of the flames of the explosion with a sound of embarrassment. Seeing this, Sha En couldn't help being surprised, the four emperors were the four emperors, and this powerful magic light killing cannon didn't even hit them hard. Kaido looked bloody all over, but in fact his aura didn't weaken at all, instead he was extremely violent, just like Sha En, he had the feeling of getting stronger as he fought. Immediately, Kaido roared towards Sha En without hesitation, the mace in his hand seemed to be a circle bigger, it was amazingly powerful. Decisively fired another magic light cannon, launched with the help of Suzano's finger. The extremely fast and powerful huge attack made it impossible for Kaido to completely dodge, even if he was prepared for it. But even so, the repulsion took less than three seconds, and after the violent flames exploded, Kaido still rushed over firmly, but there were obviously a few more wounds on his body that were torn by the impact. Seeing such a result, Sha En was not happy either, because Kaido's defense was too fierce, if Jack the Drow and others would have been seriously injured and lay down, Kaido still didn't get hurt deeply. Finally, a blow from the, drunken wheel thunder, smashed Suzano's arm open, and many cracks appeared under the black and red lightning. The distance is too close, using the magic light to kill the cannon with Suzano is too slow. Sha En's eyes were fixed, Wukong quickly pulled back the distance. Kaido followed closely behind, brandishing a mace and trying to knock Suzano down again. During this period, Sha En directly raised her hand, instead of using Suzano's hand, she fired out magic light cannons continuously with her own fingers. The pure white light beam is smaller in size, but also more flexible. Kaido was caught off guard, and all of them were hit by Sha En's magic gun. The pain in his body aroused Kaido's bestiality instead, chasing after Suzano and continuously attacking, the light beam beat his body until he was bleeding all over, regardless of it. Seeing this, Sha En is even more unceremonious, magic fruit glory cannon hits Kaido crazily. The fierce battle in the sky back and forth has already left everyone below dumbfounded. The crazy and fierce battle between Sha En and Kaido made Doflamingo's group feel like the horror scenes of the end of the world are constantly happening. Beams, lightning, aftermath. Jack the Drow spread out on the boat, gritted his teeth tightly, and stared blankly at the battle above. At this time, Kaido was in an unprecedented embarrassment, with a large number of injuries all over his body, and he was constantly adding and recovering under the beam of the magic gun. And Sha En kept the distance, didn't even let go of his fingers, stared at the target, fired wildly, and hit Kaido. Open black lens bracket ding, exercising the magic light to kill the cannon to the fullest, it is very excited, and it has improved by 10%. Close black lens bracket. 
Open black lens bracket ding. Suzano feels unprecedented power attacking herself, enjoys it very much, and has improved by 10%. Close black lens bracket. The system also sent two reminders, but Sha En focused on Kaido during the fierce battle. But seeing that Kaido didn't seem to lose momentum at all, Yuan En couldn't help but admire in his heart. It's really fierce. Kaido's defense is really strong. After receiving so many magic light cannons in a row, his body can still bear it without being penetrated. It seems that Zone's human beast transformation can indeed increase a lot of combat power. And what annoys Sha En a bit, is Kaido's, health recovery. The recovery is too fast. The strongest creature is really not bragging, if it is not for the frequent attacks, it is estimated that the skin trauma will recover immediately if it is given a few minutes. So under such circumstances, it is impossible to cause a fatal attack on him or defeat him directly. It is estimated that the magic penetration light cannon will have to be increased by at least 50% to pose a real deadly threat to Kaido. Of course, this is just an estimate, and Kaido in front of him also made Sha and Sai, the name of the strongest creature is worthy of its name. With this frequency of magic gun light killing cannon, it would have been blasted to scum by other people. The two fought fiercely back and forth, the mace hit Suzano, and the magic gun can also hit Kaido. Ha 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 ha, Sha En, with your level, it's not a problem for me to fight for 10 days and 10 nights. Kaido's eyes were crazy, and he roared with fighting spirit, his tone was obviously mocking the wind. After fighting continuously for so long, Sha En didn't use any other moves, and just went back and forth a few times. If so, I still have a chance, even if I can't break through the illusory giant's defense, I can still consume Sha En's energy. Zero. Seeking flowers. Why? Sha En sighed helplessly when she heard the words. After opening Kaiwangquan, I still have some gaps with Kaido. In general, it is still not enough compared with four emperors in all aspects. If you continue to fight like this, you will lose sooner or later. For example, the Suzano that you have rebuilt is full of cracks at this time. And Kaido obviously didn't show all his fighting power. If you want to get this reward, you still have to be serious. Otherwise, it will be very troublesome if you don't have enough physical strength to fight like this. Sha En does not want to be caught by Kaido to mine in Wanokuni, and the 200% reward of the system is very greedy. Seeing the change in Sha En's expression, Kaido couldn't help laughing more sarcastically, and swung the mace in his eyes more vigorously. The black and red lightning flashed non-stop, and the power of the explosion continued to wreak havoc in the air. Until, Suzano, who was about to be broken again, was suddenly put away by Sha En. Ha 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 ha, are you finally going to admit defeat? Kaido couldn't help laughing even more mockingly, thinking that he must let Sha En suffer enough before talking. However, Sha En was floating in the air, and at the same time that Wukong distanced her distance, the white flames on her body suddenly disappeared. For a while, Kaido couldn't understand Sha En's operation, and he really wanted to surrender when he put it away. Aren't you afraid of going back on your word and attacking directly? What is he going to do? Da Flamingo below looked up, startled. At this moment, Sha En did not have the white arrogance of the Realm King Fist, but his body exuded a more oppressive aura. As soon as it appeared, Kaido's pupils shrank immediately, feeling something was wrong. In the next second, Sha En's lips moved slightly, and he spit out three words, the door to death is open. Blood red air waves erupted and rolled in all directions. This terrifying momentum was completely released and rushed straight into the sky, making everyone unbearably shocked and breaking out in cold sweat. Similar to the white arrogance, Sha En's body now has a red aura. Even the pupils of the eyes were filled with a sense of madness, Kaido's heart trembled when he saw it, and his heart was not good. What kind of momentum is this? Kaido, including Da Flamingo below and others were shocked, feeling that Sha En at this time is simply not in the same order as before. Even the momentum is completely different. Frenzy, unparalleled fury. Is it the whole card? Then let me defeat it head on, and convince you to lose. Kaido clenched the mace in his hand, knowing that Sha En had shown his true strength. Immediately, instead of standing and waiting, there was a dragon roar. The form of human and beast changes rapidly, the body of the dragon is continuous, and a huge green dragon crosses the sky again. Fire Dragon Torch. Clusters of flames gushed out from Kaido's dragon scales and hair, quickly covering his whole body, and solidified, as if he had directly put a flame armor on his green dragon body. The red imposing figure pierces through the sky and the earth, with an incomparably terrifying aura. The flame dragon has a scorching breath, and the indescribably powerful sense of oppression shakes everyone's minds. The people of Deresero's island were stunned, the minions of the beast's pirates were stunned, Jack, everyone in the Don Quixote family couldn't help but feel their scalps tingling. Da Flamingo's brow was full of cold sweat, he knew that both of them showed their real strength to compete. Kaido's eyes were fierce and full of fighting spirit among the fire dragons, Haki's lightning began to fill the whole body, and at the same time, Sha En's momentum became more and more high, and the airflow in the whole sky rioted with the opening of the dead door. Boy, let me see how confident you are. Kaido roared loudly, his body began to circle and surge. Like a spring, the head is facing Sha En, and there is a sound of, flame eight trigrams. At the same time as the sound resounded throughout the island, Kaido, shrouded in countless flames, suddenly moved and rushed towards Gen En. 
With an incomparably scorching fire dragon torch, the temperature alone is extremely scary, coupled with the power of the green dragon, the blessing of conqueror's hockey, this is a one-shot kill. When Kaido took action, Sha En took a deep breath and exhaled a white air flow. The blood in his whole body seemed to be boiling, and the strength in his whole body could be easily mobilized and concentrated by him. This is the pinnacle of gymnastics. I didn't use the moves last time, but I must kick them out today. Sha En's eyes were fixed, and her body moved freely. Night Guy, Guang, Chapter 62 Amazing. Kaido has a big hole in his ribs. 200% bonus in hand. Advertise here. The red arrogance was like blood condensed, and the moment Sha En raised his leg, it rioted wildly. On one side of the sky is a huge fire dragon, and on the other side is Sha En's raging red steam, all red. With a, night guy. The red steam on Sha En's body is like a burning fire, lingering and reaching to the higher sky. A streak of red stretched from Sha En's neck and spread to his face. The, beast, that was not released with that blow, awakened. Come on, Sha En. Kaido in the fire dragon torch felt the terrifying aura of Sha En, and on the way to hit it, he roared excitedly, with crazy fighting intent in his eyes. He knew that Sha En's attack would be very powerful, but the more it was like this, the more excited he couldn't help it. The strongest creature can't help boiling all its fighting spirit. As you wish. Without needing to hold any more special postures, Sha En exhaled a stream of red steam between his teeth. Immediately, the moving body slammed, sending out a huge sonic boom. Like a meteor falling right on Kaido. The red steam changed at this moment, turning into an ancient fierce beast like a giant dragon. At this moment, Sha En was in a kicking posture, colliding with many fire dragons and torches fiercely. The moment of contact, it seems that all the sounds disappear. Only the red ancient behemoth and the fire dragon have an unparalleled conflict in the sky. Flames and red ons intertwined, and black lightning fell densely, smashing into the ground, smashing one piece after another. The aftermath of the shock affected the entire Dressrosa island. A large number of buildings and mountains collapsed. Under the influence of the aftermath, countless people screamed, 210, in horror. The blowing airflow has violent power. It's not just ordinary people who are terrified, even Doflamingo's group, members of Jack and Beast's pirates, etc. are terrified. The sight in front of me is really too terrifying. They resisted the ultimate coercion from above, and blocked the aftermath of the attack, not to mention the power of the aftermath on the island, just the visuals made everyone terrified from the bottom of their hearts. The giant flame dragon covering almost the entire Dressrosa island exudes the power to burn everything, and what is even more astonishing is that, the crimson steam electricity makes the space distort. Torebel, Diamante and the others, as well as Jack the Dross eyes trembled, and their hearts trembled on the ground, resisting the attack of the aftermath, completely speechless in horror. Doflamingo yelled from the bottom of his heart, how could this happen? He couldn't imagine that Sha En could be so strong. Thunder, flames, shock waves, scarlet beasts. What Doflamingo and others see is a terrifying scene like the end of the world. Kaido's eyes were already red, his mouth was wide open and he roared, exhausting his strength to fight against Sha En, all the hockey rushed out crazily, you can see hockey in the emission body along the flame dragon armor on his body, supplementing the conflict between the two center. But with the terrifying power from Sha En's attack, Kaido was shocked. How could his attack be so strong? The expected scene where Thang Long's 8 trigrams ult knocked Sha En into the air didn't happen, and he couldn't suppress it even after exhausting all his strength. How did he pull off this level of attack without conqueror's hockey? Sha En's feet had already slammed into the center of the head of Thang Long 8 trigrams, the violent incident after the opening of the Gate of Death destroyed Kaido's entwined hockey. The black lightning in the center was annihilated as soon as it appeared. It looked like a dragon-like red beast biting the flame dragon's head. But still not satisfied, Sha En's rare hostility burst out in the state of Death Gate. Might Guy almost kicked six paths Madara with one kick. Yi Guy didn't suppress Kaido immediately. At this moment, he doesn't care about consumption, some just want to kick this kick out quickly. Fly for lousy. White steam spewed from the nose and mouth, and Sha En roared. The red steam around him suddenly shook, the visual distortion intensified, and the virtual scarlet giant rose by another three points. Arriving at the flame dragon, the bent right leg unleashed Yi Guy's full power. There was a loud bang. A circle of white atmospheric shock spread out. The impact that he could not resist appeared, Kaido's eyes showed horror, and he yelled, no. In his heart. But the circle of flames outside the dragon's body couldn't withstand it first, as if it was blown out by a strong wind, it was directly annihilated under the impact of Yi Gai, and what was exposed was Kaido's green dragon body. How come? The panic in his heart hadn't had time to scream, and Duo turned his head away under the strong sense of crisis. The next moment, Sha En's feet swept over her head and landed on the body behind her. The real destructive power of the night guy really came to Kaido after the fire dragon ate trigrams. The cyan dragon scales, strong muscles, and indestructible keel, none of them could stop the force of this kick. Because Kaido's flame ate trigrams and flesh body received all the power of Yi Gai. The flesh and blood flew, because the big blood hole was a huge wound that almost lost half of the Borneal. 
No dragon has ever suffered such injuries, and no one has ever caused such terrible injuries to the huge creatures hovering above the island. Amidst the loud bang, the huge dragon's body was kicked out directly, and blood could be seen flying all the way, like blood rain falling. As Kaido was pierced by Sha En's kick, his body collapsed, and he flew upside down and fell into the sea, which caused a huge wave of 100 meters. It was as if an atomic bomb had been thrown into the deep sea and exploded. It fell into the sea and rolled the surrounding atmosphere to form a strong airflow impact and spread. The scene was extremely shocking. Doflamingo, Torebel, Granos, Pika, Origi. These Don Quixote family members are already dumbfounded and shocked beyond words. Sha N. Dot 1. That kick, what the hell is it? I see, Kaido's body was kicked out with a big blood hole. Did we not wake up, how could this be? He, is he stronger than the four emperors? After being dazed for a few seconds, they who were hiding aside screamed loudly, and Ultimate was shocked and astonished. Today's battle far exceeded their imagination, and also broke through Doflamingo's cognition. Doflamingo, who is not even afraid of Admiral, is now trembling even at the apex of his heart. Marine's new star is a monster among monsters. And in the air. With a complete kick, and the complete release of Yigai that she had mastered, Sha En only felt incomparably joyful, the floating feeling of physical and mental comfort. Ding, released Yigai for the first time, and made it feel extremely happy, an improvement of 20%. Cool, the red steam on Sha En's body hasn't disappeared yet, feeling the joy of truly releasing the night guy, even if her breath is disordered, she can't help shouting. The result is that the panting becomes more rapid, and a sense of weakness rises in the body. Kaido's physical body is very strong, this blow may not kill him, the others are still there. Taking a deep breath, Sha En glanced over the stunned Doflamingo group and Jack the Dro, and finally looked at the place where Kaido fell. Kicked a hole in the middle of Kaido's dragon body, I am afraid that with his physical strength and blood recovery speed, he might be able to get up again in a few minutes. In this regard, Sha En is still rare. Although Yi Gai's power is huge, it is still not so good. The system's tasks should be about the same, and my physical strength was almost exhausted, so I immediately decided not to stay any longer. So he dropped a little, eyes with irresistible majesty, and shouted to Doflamingo, remember to go to naval headquarters. Immediately flew directly into the air and left at an extremely fast speed. He, Doflamingo was stunned, wiped the sweat from his forehead, and had to think about going to naval headquarters. There is no way, the strength shown by Sha En is too strong. He is so strong that he doesn't know how to disobey him, what if he fails to respond to Shichibukai's call and looks for trouble? D. Dover, he's gone. Torebel regained his composure and said to Doflamingo in a daze. How could he choose to leave after beating Kaido like this? For a while, Pika, Diamante and others felt a little puzzled after being shocked. Never mind him, go to the coast and see how Kaido is doing. Doflamingo took a deep breath and didn't think about the trivial matter of Sha En leaving after beating. At this time, Jack the Dro and the Beast's pirates all looked terrified and didn't remember it. The invincible Kaido-sama, how is it possible? For them, Kaido was beaten like this, and the scene of blood spattering really broke through the long-standing cognition. Quick, go and see the mountains and the sea. It wasn't until Doflamingo's group came over from the high mountain palace that the drought reacted and yelled anxiously. Under the flying speed of Wukong, Sha En has already left a large distance of zero. Ding, complete the battle with Kaido, the result of the battle, a tie, gain physical fitness, and greatly improve skills original reward 200%. Close black lens bracket. The system prompt sounded shortly afterwards. No way, Kaido is almost heartbroken, and the result is just a tie. Sha En was a little stunned. It seems that there is nothing wrong with my decisive choice to leave, this level of trauma is not enough to defeat Kaido. But a tie, this shows that the strongest creature still has fighting power, if he continues to fight, he may not be able to retreat completely. It's really amazing to be able to dominate the new world and make Marine afraid. Sha En couldn't help but lament the horror of the four emperors. Fortunately, I chose to leave the battlefield after the ultimate duel, and I was able to get a reward for a tie. At this time, the rewards of the system also corresponded to the body, and the familiar sense of improvement came. Yet almost at the same time, Kaido, who was injured by Yi Gai and fell into the sea, walked up from the beach of Dressrosa Island step by step in a panic. A powerhouse of his level can resist the suppression of ability users by some seawater. But as he approached, the blood continuously flowed from his body into the sea, Kaido was a little weak but had a hideous look on his face. When Doflamingo's group and Drought saw Kaido's tragic situation, they were all shocked and breathless, and felt a big earthquake in their hearts. Under Kaido's ribs, although it is not the left side where the heart is, the big piece he is missing can even faintly see the blood dripping inside. Those beating muscles and internal organs. It seems that almost half of it is missing, chest and abdomen. Doflamingo can be regarded as well informed, but seeing Kaido, the strongest creature, looks like this, it is very shocking. It can be said that everyone present felt as if their scalps were tingling. Kaido of the beasts was hurt like this by Sha En. It's horrible. That guy is a monster. Kaido is also strong. This. They didn't die, and even came out of the sea as capable users. Both of them are ridiculously strong. 
Don Quixote and a group of people don't know how to describe it. After Kaido went ashore, his face was covered with sweat, and his face turned pale. He was obviously in pain. Fortunately, the Phantom Beast's recovery ability was brought into play after leaving the sea. The huge bloody wound was wriggling, recovering rapidly, shrinking continuously, and stopped bleeding. The only thing that annoys Kaido is that Shaw En's move also has armament hockey and strange energy, otherwise the missing part can be repaired in extreme time. Guy. Master Kaido. Jack brought the members of the Beast's Pirates behind him, and knelt down in front of Kaido trembling. They don't have a ship's doctor, and they know that 0.8 Kaido doesn't need a ship's doctor, so they can only pretend to be guilty. It's just that Kaido just walked up at this time, and didn't even look at Jack, but instead looked at Doflamingo, and said hoarsely, where is he? Where is Shaw En? Oh, let him go on. Kaido. You, he's gone. Doflamingo originally wanted to say something, but quickly changed the subject to inform. Shaw En. You are scared. You are as cowardly as a mouse. When Kaido heard this, he immediately became furious and cursed. The eyes under Doflamingo's sunglasses moved slightly, watching Kaido's unforgiving mouth. In fact, Kaido breathed a sigh of relief inwardly at this time, and his mood was very complicated. It seems that the guy couldn't hold on after using the terrifying move. Kaido thought to himself, recalling the terrifying move just now, I can't help but feel scared, it's too scary. Even Kaido himself had to admit that he couldn't stop Shaw En's kick with all his strength. Fortunately, it avoided the vital point and did not hit the fatal point. You must know that at the beginning, Shaw En's attack was directly aimed at his own head. After avoiding the head, the huge dragon body did not hit the heart. Otherwise, he would really die today. Thinking about it, Kaido was a little scared. What kind of background is this pervert? Regarding the appearance of Shaw En, Kaido has doubts in his heart, thinking that it is impossible for Marine to cultivate such a monster among monsters. But no matter what, it has left a huge shadow on him at this time, even bigger than the shadow brought by Kazuki Odin more than 20 years ago. One cut opened the abdomen, and the other almost killed himself. 